in his weary band. Dinosaurs Roar through April 30th at the Miami Museum of Science and Space Transit Planetarium. Check out the Facts of Life weekdays at 4 o'clock. Here in the land of worlds, they're having twice the fun. Cause every single thing is really two in one. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. And when you add Once again, to the wacky land of was. Hey, take a look at that train. A uh, tugboat. Oh, I get it. <laughs> it's a chugboat. I told you it's wacky and was. Papo, leaving's a wowsy idea. I haven't swapped a poop deck or anything yet. Don't start with me, Muso. We all need a vacation. See? Every Wuzzle's thrilled to be going. Not me, Hoppo. I really need to stay and practice my basketball. And my garden needs home. My lawn needs mowing. And I suppose you want to stay to pull some kind of joke? Nope, you know me. Have joke, will travel. <laughs> Listen, we all discussed this and I decided that a nice cruise at sea would do us all a was of good. Now, let's get on this chug boat and have a good time! I need a picture of this. Trying to break the sound barrier? I thought you said full steam ahead. I said, you fools, I'm half dead. I can hardly wait to tickle my taste buds with some of Butter Bear's good cooking. But I didn't cook. I did. My favorite, liver spinach sandwiches. Yuck! Uh-oh. Is every wuzzle seasick? Yeah, we see his sandwiches and we get sick. Mmm, with this for bait, maybe I'll catch a shrimp chimp. It's a big, mean Heracuda. I'll get a picture. I suppose this is your idea of a good time, right, wise guy? Well, you always said you wanted Bumble Lion to fall for you, a hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> no, I just want to see you sink. Did you have a nice swim, Hoppo? Oh. Oh, 
Oh, oh, gosh, it's a whopper. Oh, I've got a terrible feeling this isn't the shrimp shrimp shrimp. <laughs> Oh, it's a baboon bass. That's all the hop up on my chug tug. Hey, that was my liver spinach sandwich, you baboon bully. Yikes! The sandwich wasn't that bad. Is this what hop meant by a good time? Yummers! I'm so glad I packed for emergencies. Gosh! Give it, give it, give it, give it. Nothing doing, Buster. Gee! Wait, you're half fish. You can't breathe out of water. I have to do everything around here. Now, let's get back to having fun. Whoa! Can't you tell I'm having a ball? Oh, no! It's pirates! Surrender, you loose, scabby wassels. Or, uh, or, uh, what does the book say, mate? Or, uh, we'll blast you out of this here water. with fire. How's this? No, we need guns, cannons, missiles, torpedoes. All I have is my makeup case. And the food with most of the liver spinach sandwiches. What could be deadlier? Now I need a way to launch them. Here, try these. What does the book say to do? Uh, here it is. Liver spinach attack. Blast them out of the water. them out in the water. Why up a sick and feeling we're sunk? Bail out the tugboat! Oh, where's that candle you have? And I'll blast you. We need a sail. Start your knitting needles, mateys. This is not my idea of a good time. Quick, abandon ship before the pirates get here. Now we'll have fun at last. The worst is behind us. Boy, I couldn't have said it better. Those pig mice are a mean-looking butt. <laughs> we will return after these messages. Dear, Timmy's making a picture of New Tang again. Tang breakfast beverage crystals. Are you ready? Now it's all natural flavors. 
Are you ready for the big orange taste of new tang? Cronin takes them all at the top of the key. He pops. Jerry! Hi, boy! He's double teamed. He's driving over the top. Slam dunk for Jerry! What moves? Cronin's feet. They're all over him. He breaks loose. Swish! Jerry! You know, ever since I got this nerf hoop, I don't mind going to my room to do my homework. There's only one nerve. Oh, 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 my best friend and an Oreo cookie. She loves the crunchy chocolate. I like the creamy middle. Been eating them this way since we were very little. We'll always be friends with O-R-E-O. -E friends are better when you pair them. Oreos are better when you share them. Oreo cookies. Share them. Nabisco. We now return to the Wuzzle. They say that every Wuzzle travels to the beat of a different drum. But this is one drum that Hoppo would like to beat. You know, this vacation's the pits. I'm going to have to outsmart these twerps. Mm, careful. Mudslide area ahead. <laughs> Blue and mud just don't mix. What are we going to do? There's only one thing to do. You're right. Fix the tugboat and head for home. No, Hoppo's got to be rescued. Yeah, but the lion's right. And once we're home, we'll call a rescue team to save her. Hey, she's our friend, remember? Shit! How'd these guys like it if they were being chased? <laughs> can get back to my friends for an afternoon of fun. So much for fun. Oh, Apple's hoof prints must be close. Yeah, close to where we started. Do I still say we call for that professional rescue team? Let's not give up yet. We'll find Hoppo. No, I meant for us. Let me go. Let me out of here. Although it is heaven being off these hooves. Wait, later, squeaky, squeaky, barky, barky. We offer you Eepo Hoppo. Very good. Prepare Hevo Hoppo for lunch. Lunch? No, no, there's been a big mistake. You know Heave Ho Hoppo? Me? No, your boys mistook me for someone else. Easy mistake. I'm very big in theater. You big actress? Well, quite honestly, my fans just have to hear I'm in a play and they start crying. Then act like Heave Ho Hoppo. Good enough. Prepare for lunch. <laughs> what a day I'm having. Hey, you know what I hear? Is th th that my heart pounding? No, bongo drums. And then if we follow that, we'll find Hoppo. Follow that and we'll find Hoppo. Her stomach's growling. <laughs> no, it's not what the Subi was. The drums are on the other side. Come on, let's cross that volcano before she blows. Going somewhere? Up, 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 up. A mine shaft. Maybe it's a shortcut. Sounds like someone's having a blast in there. 
surely I have a lantern in this pouch somewhere. We were just looking for a shortcut. I weren't born yesterday. Go find your own ruby diamond or I'll blast you. Sheesh. Every wuzzle sure is having a blast blasting us. Boy, my heart's really pounding now. It's the drums. They must be close. Look, the pig mice. Papo must be here. Oh, where could she be? Good. Now bring the big stuff. You think he means <laughs> Hoppo? Quick, there's no time to lose. Bubble Lion, hurry! I found Hoppo! What have you got under that lid? Din Din. <gasps> oh, Hoppo, I never told you what a good friend you were. Oh, what a good sport you were. Oh, what a good actress you were. Or what a good dancer, considering how big you were. Another fat joke, huh? Hoppo! Oh. Hoppo, are you all right? Fantastic! These pig mice throw a mean luncheon. Want some pineapple cider? But, but why were the pig mice chasing you? They thought I was her, the heave-ho hoppo. To them, she's some big matuda or something. Well, since you're safe, let's head for home. And give up the royal treatment? This hoppopotamus is in stupid. But hoppo, we need your help fixing Moosel's tugboat. Yeah, no one else can plug the hole. Listen, I'll go ask the big cheese if he'll give you a new boat. A new tugboat? You're right. Let's think big. I'll ask for a yacht jet. Should we get a yacht jet? Not exactly. Bye, Bye now. We'll see you later, Bye. Hoppo. Doodaloo. I'll send postcards. Hmm. Somebody ought to do something about that Mount Vesuvius. was. On my nerves. Time for heave ho! Later, kids, let me finish lunch, then we'll play. Hey, what's the big deal? You are. Mount Vesuvi was very angry. Hey, only heave ho hop -ho make it happy. We're cool. What'll it be? A little song and dance? Mm, no. A few card tricks? Try them too. All right, maybe I'll bring it lunch. Now you talking. Mount Vesuvi was like a hippie heave ho hoppo. Wait, I just remembered. I'm late for an appointment with my hoof and mouth doctor. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> Let me go. Let me go. Let go. Somebody save me. What a day this is turning out to be. Looks like lunch with Mount Vesuvi was is turning out to be lunch for Mount Vesuvi was. We will return after these messages. Silver Hawks, partly metal, partly real, mighty warriors with the powers to protect space from all evil. Bustle's busting out. Shredder too. Stargazer seen us. Figures with weapon birds sold separately. Cyber, surgery report. Quicksilver, activate power wing. Caliwalk, brigade scissor wing. Now take him down. Mumbo Jumbo airsoft. It's hero stomping time. No way. Buzzsaw with Shredder or Quicksilver with Caliwalk. Other figures with weapon birds sold separately. Silver Hawks, new from Kenner. Around here, the early bird gets the ego. Gently put in the ego as not to arouse any sleeping taste buds. <laughs> Cleverly divert its delicious aroma from filling their dreams with crisp golden ego waffles. Hi, Dad. What's uh, for breakfast? Uh, nothing. <laughs> and I can have this? Oh, let go my ego. Ego waffles from Kellogg's, part of this nutritious breakfast. Gently put in the ego. Get down there, Daddy! 
negative. Sunkiss searches and searches for fun fruit trees. The only trees funny enough. I found them. To grow Sunkiss fun fruits. Every chewy one is real fruity fun. And now we've discovered new Sunkiss fun fruits cream supremes. They're covered with yogurt and filled with fun. New Sunkiss fun fruits cream supremes. Computers are coming your way. Computers? For paying bills. Mothers, too. Bah, humbug. Wow. Let me try it. What you doing, Tabby? My homework. A report called Dance to the Beat and Land on Four Feet. Which side is up? Oh, I'm still working on it, Hacker. Besides, I'm going to be a star, not a writer. Even stars need to write. Use the computer. The computer? Sure. This is the word processing program that I use for my science report. Whoops. No problem. Change the XYZ to an ABC. With a cursor space, make a word erase. Let me try it. See your work improve? Make a sentence move. Cut it down to size you can edit or revise. Word processing really helps. Let the printer run when your work's all done. And it turns out neat. What a treat. My work's complete. See you soon. We now return to the Wuzzle. You know, this is the first time I've ever seen the Wuzzles use their heads to get out of a situation. No sign of the Pyrax. It's safe to leave. What was that? It sounded like Hoppo. She must be having a scream at the luncheon. She got the good time she wanted. We have to get home. It always happens the spare is flat, too. Boogala, boogala, gree, gree, gree. For the last time, you're making a big mistake. Those scally wuzzles are here somewheres. What's the book say about punishment for blazing our sails? Brah! Says here! Blast them! I figured. Dippity, dippity, do da day! Oonga, boonga, to hunga, hey! Brah! Hold it! Your loot or your life! <laughs> Oh, how can I ever repay you? With your jewels, your robe. Sounds reasonable. And your head. My head? What for? For torching me sail. Oh! I don't blame you for being myth, but let me say a few farewells. Squeaky, squeaky, boogie, boogie, save me! And shorten that name. She our heave ho hoppo, we heave her into mountain. No. Take her to the ship. Some choice. Pillaged by pirates or pot roasted by pig mice. Hoppo sure letting the good times roll. Uh-oh, the pirates have landed in the next lagoon. Let's get out of here. Ah! Save me! That didn't sound like a scream of joy. Oh, someone's probably trying to wrestle a drumstick away from Hoppo. <laughs> we better go check. Those pirates might have her. Boy, please! There's enough autobus here for everybody. Let her go! Am I ever glad to see you guys? Help the pig mice, gang! Hold up, pose. Hold your ground, Skelly Wuzzle, or I'll run you through. Say, hey, Chief, think you can lend a hand? Prick em, stick em, spear em, chuck em! Prick em, stick em, spear em, chuck em! What's the book say about being outnumbered? Brrrr! Says here! Blast them out of the water! We ain't in water, stupid. Keep reading. Mm, if blasting fails, yipe and run for it! Yeah. Oh, thank you, Bumble Lion. We thank you, too. Now, on with Evo! Evo? 
Who? They think that by giving me to Mount Vesuvius, it'll stop the volcano from exploding. Well, if anything will plug that volcano, it's Hoppo's Potamus. Wait, that's not a volcano. It's that miner blasting. No fast talk, or we heave ho you too. Stop the lion, do something. Watch after Hoppo, gang. I have an idea. You gotta tell the pig mice about your blasting, or they're gonna throw a two-ton pot of us down on you. Frog wash! Now get! Shake them, rattle them, roll them, throw them! Tarny, every time I get to blasting, somebody tosses their trash down my mountain. But that's what I'm trying to explain. It's the pig mice. Well, I... I'll fix them. Wait, one last picture to remember you, Bob. <laughs> Don't say that. One, two, zero. One, two. You little twerps. Stop that. Great Mountain Matuda. Oh, 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 wow. Your wish is our command. Mountain Matuda, huh? What you offering? You want trinkets? Souvenirs? How about party favors? Is that all? You've been throwing that junk down here for years. Now get, and don't you ever come back. Got lots of party favors. You want me to blow my top? Have you had enough fun and relaxation for one day? Well, Hoppo, we're finally having a good time. I won't be happy until I'm safe and sound in my own home. You know, it was really kind of exciting. You call disasters exciting? I'm never going to take a vacation again. Then it's a good thing I took pictures. You'll be able to remember this vacation forever. Not him again. Only in the land of was could a disaster have been so much fun. So we're sure to be back for more disaster, I mean more fun, here with the Wuzzle. And now these messages. It's that time of year again, and Cadbury has hatched up milk chocolate mini eggs for Easter, made with Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate. Inside the crisp sugar shell is a chunk of thick and creamy Cadbury's dairy milk chocolate. That's why mini eggs give you a chocolate experience that is so special. Although Easter isn't here yet, Cadbury's mini eggs are, so discover for yourself which comes first, the bunnies or the eggs. Milk it down. Milk the body. Milk does the body good. Wash it off. Check it out. It's so cool for hanging out. It helps you grow up big and tall. It's good for tea. It does not all. Ah! It does. Hey, Mr. Moo, what do you say? Fresh moo juice makes my day. Milk. It does the body good. Pass it on. Milk it does. Milk it does the body. Milk it does the body good. Pass it on. Pass it on. Hey, what's all the fuss, Penguin? Expecting company? Oh, yes, yes, yes. The lucky winners of the post cereal SeaWorld Sweepstakes. Yippee! You could win a trip to SeaWorld when you enter the sweepstakes on the free poster of Shamu. Inside specially marked boxes of honeycomb and super golden crisp cereal. Winners get to meet Shamu. And all the winter get SeaWorld stickers. Yay! Details on specially marked boxes. Odds of winning determined by entries received. For free entry, write post P.O. Box 853A, Churchill, Maryland, 21690. Maybe you'll win. Has anyone ever forgotten your birthday? Birthday Bear tries to remind everyone of her big day on the Care Bears family next. Tonight, Ernie finds the kind of cash that could get him killed on Sidekicks. And tomorrow, the Disney Sunday movie takes a proud look back at a magical man as Tony Danza hosts Disney Goes to the Academy Awards.
This is ABC. Presenting Ronald McDonald in person. Hi, kids. Ronald in person means fun. <laughs> Juggling. Not bad, huh? And surprises. <laughs> and don't forget smiles. Hey, kids, you can see Ronald McDonald perform his magic tricks and Big Red Shoe Review Show this coming Saturday, February 28th, 1 p.m. at McDonald's, 71st Street and Collins Avenue in Miami Beach. The one and only Channel 10. Care Bear Countdown, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ready, Ronald? Ready, Ronald? messages. Those lonely pound puppies really need to be rescued. Pound puppy, I'm so glad to find you. Put that lonely puppy pound behind you. You need a name. I'll call you Freckle. Lots of pound puppies need your love. Ask for me, Petey. And when they're this lonely and this lovable, one more is always welcome. Come share it all our cuddly and caring puppy love. Pound puppies. Each sold separately. From Tonka. Hear anything negative? Sunkiss searches and searches for fun fruit trees. The only trees funny enough. I found them! To grow Sunkiss oh. fun fruits. Every chewy one is real fruity fun. And now we've discovered new Sunkiss fun fruits cream supremes. They're covered with yogurt <laughs> and filled with fun. Oh! New Sunkiss Fun Fruits Cream Supremes. And now, back to the Care Bears. Someone's birthday. 
especially mine. Oh. What's going on? Oh boy, they're gonna throw me a party. Oh, I hate to spoil the surprise, but I just can't wait. Gee, you guys didn't have to go to so much trouble. Sure we did, Birthday Bear. Today's a day worth celebrating. That's right. It's not every day we defeat No Heart. No Heart? But today's my... Birthday. Hey, Birthday Bear. Follow me. I've got something for you. You do? Does it have anything to do with someone's birthday? Now that you mention it, it does. A little boy named Charles is very sad because everyone has forgotten his birthday. And since birthdays are your specialty, maybe you can cheer him up. He's not the only one who needs cheering up. Wow! This place is huge! Charles sure is a lucky boy. Hi there. Are you Charles? Yeah. Who wants to know? Birthday bear. That's who. Why so glum, chum? Because no one came to my party. I promised the kids at school the best party they ever had. But no one came. Well, they must have had a good reason, Charles. Maybe their invitations got lost in the mail. No. They didn't come because they just don't like me. I'm sure that isn't true, Charles. I'll bet if we asked the kids together, they'd come to your party. Do you really think so? I know so. Because I'm Birthday Bear. Let's go. Put no heart in a bad mood. But this creeper thorn should cheer him up. Yay, yeah, oh. I brought you something beautiful. I mean, mean ugly. I mean, you, uh, whatever. Yuck! I'm starting to sound like a Care Bear. Oh, there must be a way to destroy those Care Bears. But how? Well, how is right. Every time you corner those Care Bears, they just haul off and stare you. And even your evilness can't handle a squad of loaded Care Bears. When I want your opinions, I'll give them to you. Now sit down. Wow. And be quiet. <gasps> Somehow, I must put the Care Bears into a situation that will allow me to divide and conquer them. A, a place where they are together, but apart. Some place like a maze. A maze of... Ah, Perfect. <laughs> Come, Beastly. We have work to do. <laughs> Hi, kids. I'm Birthday Bear. Um, Charles and I would like to invite you to his birthday party. It'll be a lot of fun. I have all the best toys. I'll even let you play with my remote control kites. They're much more fun than those homemade ones. We like our kites. Besides, you don't need us at your party. You see, I told you they don't like me. Aw, uh, don't be sad, Charles. I know. We'll celebrate your birthday together. We'll have our own party. Oh, thank you, birthday bear. We'll have a great time. 
Just wait till you try my merry-go-round and my racing cars. I've got buckets of ice cream. Some fun, eh, birthday bear? You said it. I don't understand. I have all these great toys, and we're still not having any fun. Well, great toys are nice, Charles. But a birthday party just isn't a party without people to share the fun with. Yeah. Huh? You got your message, and we're here to help celebrate. What do you mean, Tender Heart? I didn't call you. Well, if you didn't call us, who did? Who cares who called whom? What's important is you're here. This is going to be the best birthday party of all time. Oh, well, at least one of us will have a happy birthday. Hmm, my plan is working perfectly, Beastly. It was I who tricked the Care Bears into coming here, and it is I who will destroy them. Decam eve per sec grow. To the maze. <laughs> Excellent. Once the Care Bears enter my magic maze, they will never find their way out. <laughs> oh, boss, you're so bad. You, you must, must get the Care Bears, bears into, into the maze. maze. Don't, Don't fail me, beastly. Don't worry, boss. I'll get him in there, even if I have to lead him myself. <laughs> Lying down. Ooh. How about follow the leader? Now that's for me. No, no, right no, away. No, 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 no. I don't get it. Don't you want to play with my toys? Having a lot of toys is nice, Charles. But they're not the only way to have fun. They're not? No. We'll show you. Oh, okay. I'll find Birthday Bear and we'll catch up with you. <laughs> Degrading. follow me. this way, friends, follow me. It's beastly.
return after these messages. Dear, Timmy's making a picture of New Tang again. New Tang breakfast beverage crystals. Are you ready? Flavors. Are you ready for the big orange taste of New Tang? My sister's the pretty one. My brother's the smart one. And me, I'm the smart. But my mother says nobody's perfect. I know just who she means. After yesterday, I expected bread and water for lunch. But look, today Mom gave me a kiss. A little Hershey's kiss. Well, my mother says nobody's perfect. Could be my sister. Hershey's Kisses. They're only little till you taste them. Ronald McDonald and friends in... Shaping up for breakfast! I love morning exercises. The music! And having breakfast at McDonald's when we're done. Oh, yummy! Let's exercise faster! <laughs> oh, here we go! I love going for a spin. <laughs> Would we turn up? <laughs> I'm Captain O.G. Readmore, a reading kind of cat. Read a book like me, you'll soon agree that reading is where it's at. Have you heard of that bird or that cat that goes splat? Or that bunny that's funny? Get along. Wait. Before you go, you have to know, it's the Bugs Bunny TV Show today. And now, back to the Care Bears. One by one, I will track them down. And destroy them. This time, no heart will have the last laugh. <laughs> I don't know, Charles. But we have to save our friends. No heart. Everyone, no hearts in the maze. Run. Run. That's right, Care Bears. I'll track you down one by one. <laughs> We really are trapped in here. Braveheart, we've got to get out of here. No heart is after us. Don't worry, Tenderheart. I'll get us out. Uh -oh. It worked. No, it didn't. The vines are growing back. Uh-oh. It sounds like he's heading your way. Run for it, Tenderheart. My friends are in trouble. I've got to help them. No! Will you get lost in the maze, too? Who will find them? <coughs> oh! Why don't we ask him for help? He doesn't care about anyone but himself. Then I'll make him an offer he can't refuse. <laughs> Not so fast, kid. I want to make you a deal. You're wasting your time. Beastly can't be bought. <laughs> What'd you have in mind? If you help us get our friends out of the maze, I'll give you anything you want. Just name it. Anything? Aha! Uh -huh. The coast is clear. Oh, who's there? Braveheart! Who's asking? It's me, Tenderheart. Where are you? Over here! Boy, am I glad it's you. I thought it might be... Uh, no heart! Oh no! A dead end! Or 
Bert. That was close. Now? You're telling me. I'll help you. But only if you paint it yellow to match my eyes. Anything you want. And let me test drive it first. Whiplash! I'll sue! Forget it! It's off! Anyway, I don't do deals with good guys! I should have known Beastly wouldn't help us. He's lower than a worm's belt buckle. What are we going to do? We just can't go into the maze alone. We need help. You're right, Charles. There's only one thing to do. We've got to ask your schoolmates for help. They won't help us. They don't like me. Come on, Charles. They're our only hope. What for? You need help counting all your toys? No! We need you to help us rescue the Care Bears! Why didn't you say so? If you really need our help, you've got it! Yahoo! Well, let's get going! There's no time to lose! I'm so scared! What if New Heart catches me? <laughs> Find each other, let alone the way out. 
It looks like no heart has finally beaten us. Hey! Come on, follow the string. Well, I'll be. Lead the way. I hope our trouble with no heart didn't ruin your birthday. Are you kidding? Thanks to the Care Bears, this is the best birthday I've ever had. Now I know you can't buy friends. Good for you, Charles. Friendship is something you can't put a price tag on. The only way to make friends is to be one. Yay! Hey, let's finish Charles' birthday party. Yay! Yahoo! Let's do it! Party time! All right. uh, Hey, can I try your plate this time? You bet, Charles. All right! <laughs> All right! Yeah. Forget your birthday, did you? Uh, well, well, of course not. Not in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have fun playing? Well, sure. I really like baseball. Well, then, if you had fun, that's all that counts. You're right, Share Bear. Thanks. Try your best and have fun, and you'll never strike out. And now, these messages. There's a whole new way it moves today. Places to go, go, people to see. You got to keep, 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 keep up with your feet. You can keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Chocolate caramel, satisfaction. Like crispy cookie, get your back in the action. It's nothing two sticks of Twix. Can't fix it. Yeah, Twix keeps your motor humming mighty yum, yum, yum. And keep on, keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Caramel or peanut butter Twix. Milk it does. Milk it does the body. Milk it does the body. Pass it on. Check it out. It's so cool for hanging out. It helps you grow up big and tall. It's good for teeth. And that's not all. Ah! It does. Hey, Mr. Moo, what do you say? Fresh Moo juice makes my day. Moo. It does the body good. Pass it on. Milk it does. Milk it does the body. Milk it does the body good. Pass it on. Pass it on. Every package of Kellogg's Raisin Bran has two scoops of raisins. I know that. But do you know that two scoops are enough to give a plump, juicy raisin to each captain of the Queen's Guard? All the girls on the Cranston High Cougarettes and Boy Scout Troop 12? That's a lot! There'd still be enough tasty Kellogg raisins for an entire symphony orchestra. That's a crowd of raisins! Now you can share or keep that great taste all to yourself. Kellogg's Raisin Bran, part of this complete breakfast. There's a crowd of raisins in two scoops. All you cool cats and dogs, get this. Presenting the superstars of the Stone Age, the one and only Flintstone Kids, today. Stay tuned for Prehistoric Laughs with the Flintstone Kids next. Tomorrow, Tony Danza hosts Disney Goes to the Academy Awards. And Wednesday afternoon, they were just like a TV family. Everything at home looked fine. But then Mom and Dad decided to get a divorce. Watch Divorce Kids Blues, an ABC after-school special. This is ABC. Uh, nobody till somebody loves you. Nobody, I can't tell somebody cares. 
You're always a somebody to a new pet in the Humane Society. And no matter who you are, there's one waiting just for you. You're nobody till somebody loves you. So find yourself somebody to love. Let a pet touch your heart. Adopt from your local Humane Society. Check out the Facts of Life weekdays at 4 o'clock. Muppet Babies will return after these messages. When time is going slow. You can fill it up with fun. Yum, yum, yum. With bubble yum. A good mess coming up. Cause we're gonna yum it up. With rock and punch. And raspberry. Rock and roll in one. New rock and raspberry bubble yum. Bubble yum. We're gonna rock around the whole trick. When you yum it up. Since I can't get tricks from kids, I'll make some myself. It's part of this nutritious breakfast. With orangey oranges, lemony lemons, gravity grapes, fruity fruits. <laughs> Hope I didn't gum it up. Huh? Dummy rabbits in fruity flavors? Uh-oh, I better hide them. But where? In the box of Silly Rabbit, where you kids will find four free gummy rabbits. Gummy rabbits in tricks. Tricks with the dig in your gig. It puts the boom into your beat. Puts the rhythm in your feet. Keeps you rocking along. Puts the soul into your phone. You can keep on, keep on moving with tricks. Chocolate caramel, satisfaction. Like crispy cookie, get you back in the action. Two sticks of Twix can't fix. You can keep on, keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Caramel or peanut butter Twix. And now, back to Muppet Things. Okay, as you can see, there's nothing in my hand, nothing up my sleeve, Nothing in my ear. And nothing in your head either, Fuzzy. Get on with the trick. Yeah. Yeah, come on, do it, Fuzzy. Come on, Fuzzy, hmm? do the trick. No, Jack. Okay, okay. The amazing Waka Waka will now perform the world's most difficult card trick. <laughs> Pick a card, Kermit. Hmm. Um... Now put the card back in the pile without letting me see it. Um, okay, Fuzzy. Wow! Sorry. There. Ready? Your card is the Nine of Diamonds, right? Um, no. Uh, the Six of Spades? Nope. The uh, Ace of Hearts? Wrong. Oh, oh, I got it. The Jack of Diamonds. Not even close. Two of hearts? Nope. Ten of spades? Uh-uh. Uh, queen of clubs? No. Aha! I got it! After careful consideration, I have determined positively that your card is the Joker! Sorry, Fuzzy. You're the only Joker around here, Fuzzy. Yeah! Oh, but that wasn't much of a card trick. Yeah! Bad trick! Um, maybe you ought to practice a little more, Fuzzy. Okay, it's my turn to do a trick. What? I, the great Gonzini, can escape from anything. <laughs> and now, my lovely assistant Piggy will assist me with a little assistance as I attempt my impossible escape. <laughs> 
me decide whether to keep him or not. Well, our own talking bird. Can we play with him, Nanny? Well, okay. But only if you promise to take good care of him. We promise. I'll be right back with his cage. Keep an eye on him. Sure thing, Nanny. What big eyes you have, Grandma. Eyes? What about this big schnozola? Big schnozola? Huh? Oh, thanks. My name's Polly. What's yours? I'm Scooter. I'm Skeeter. Bozzy, pleased to meet you. I'm Ron. I'm Kermit, and this is Piggy. Hello, Polly. I'm Gonzo. Uh, My friends call me Weirdo. Me, animal. Animal. Here, Polly. Here, Polly. Polly? Now, you kids, remember, don't open the window. Sometimes Polly picks the lock and gets out of his cage. Hey! Don't worry, Nanny. We'll take good care of him. Okay. I'll be back in a little while. I think Polly would like a cookie. Polly want a cookie. Polly want a cookie. Turn around, Gonzo. Used to make. Mm -hmm. Uh, Piggy, can I have a cookie too? Sorry, Gonzo. These cookies are for birdies only. Birdies? Well, uh, I'm a birdie. See, I got a beak and feathers. How about a cookie, huh? Well, what do you 
think, Polly? Void where prohibited by law. I guess that means no, Gonzo. Ah, <laughs> oh, Polly, you talk too much. Wait a minute. Beak? Feathers? <gasps> Maybe I really am a bird. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Then again? Maybe not. Oh, oh you're a Gosh, if I could fly, I sure wouldn't like living in a cage. Me neither. Gosh, if I lived in a cage, I'd try to escape. Escape? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, don't worry, Polly. The great Gonzini will break you out of your prison. Gotcha cover. Uh, I give up. <laughs> you look silly, Scooter. Hey, that wasn't funny, Skeeter. You're the one that's acting weird. I didn't do anything. Did so. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Did not. Did not. I saw you. Uh -huh. Maybe he crawled into his shoe. Don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. Waka, waka, waka. You think you're funny, don't you, Fuzzy? Uh, yeah. I guess so. Well, guess again, because you're not. Gee, what did I do? Beam me up, Scott. Whoa! Huh? Hey, animal, cut it out! Fire photon torpedo. Oh, hook me. Tony! Warp Factor 9, Mr. Sulu. No! You better leave me alone. Oh, 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 but Piggy, I didn't say... Don't bother apologizing. I'm not speaking to you, Frog. Huh? Okay, from now on, this is my side of the room, and that's yours, Scooter, so just keep out, okay? Oh, yeah? Well, you keep out of my side, then. You snap at me one more time, animal, and I'm never letting you eat my crayons again. Don't go away! Coming up next, sports and weather! And now, this message. 
Okay, when, Ernie? He's putting more big, soft chocolatey chips into our Chips Deluxe cookies. Right. Just say when. As soon as we put in enough chips, you holler, okay? We'll add big, soft chips till you say when, Ernie. Ernie? Keebler Chips Deluxe cookies have more big, soft chocolatey chips than ever before. Ernie! <laughs> wow! When? Keebler Chips Deluxe cookies. More big, soft chocolatey chips than ever before. Here's Tropical Barbie and Nico. Dolls in Tahiti Bird eat sold separately. We girls love it in paradise. Right, Barbie? Tropical Barbie, island girl. Long flowing hair. Tropical flowers to wear. Beautiful braids. A tropical Barbie day. We girls can do anything. Right, Barbie? Tropical Barbie and Miko dolls each sold separately. Tahiti Bird also sold separately. For Mattel. Who are you waiting for? Ice Cream Jones. And new ice cream cone cereal. My name's Ice Cream Jones. I'm bringing the kids my ice cream cones. A crunchy new cereal for breakfast. The great taste of ice cream cones. Whoa! I'll have vanilla. Give me chocolate chips. They look like little ice cream cones. And taste like them. The crunchy part of this nutritious breakfast. My name's Ice Cream Jones. With the great taste of ice cream cones. New ice cream cone cereal. And now, back to Muppet Babies. Gosh, Polly, I've never seen Piggy so mad at me. I must have said something real dumb. Real dumb, real dumb. I can't understand how my Kermie could think I talk too much. He's always been so nice to me. Oh, hello, Polly. Me anymore. Did he say anything to you about me? Real dumb, real dumb. What? Um, there's something I want to tell you, Piggy. No thanks, Buster. Polly already told me what you said. Huh? He did? I wouldn't talk to you again if you were the last frog on Earth. Keep your eyes peeled, Polly. There's got to be at least one other frog on Earth. <laughs> Hey, frog, off your starboard bow. Ribbit, ribbit. Wait a minute. You're not a frog. Sure I am. I'll prove it. Uh, I know what you're thinking. This is disgusting. But I'll do anything to impress that pig. Gonzo, you little faker. Oh, well. You can't blame a weirdo for trying. <gasps> it's him! The last frog on Earth! What a hunk. Bonjour, my little piglet. Oh, a French frog. Ooh la la! I've been looking for a piglet like you all of my life. Come, let me sweep you off your little pig's feet. at the sound of the beep. Beep. All right, Polly. See, Scooter says he's sorry for being a nerd. Sorry for being a nerd. I guess I better go make up with Scooter. Sorry, Scooter says you're a nerd. Is that so? Well, I'll tell Scooter what I think of him. Oh, hi, Skeeter. So I'm a nerd, huh? Huh? What? I am tired of having you for a brother, and I want a divorce. A divorce? Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. 
Brother and sister divorce court is now in session. I want to divorce Scooter because he's a nerd. I object. I'm not a nerd. I'm just, well, smart for my age. Order in the court. I'll have a salami on rye and a cream soda. Waka, waka, waka. Fuzzy. Sorry. I don't want to be Scooter's sister anymore. I'd rather have another brother. But you can't have another brother. We're twins. Too late. I now pronounce you perfect stranger. Pick up your new brother and sister in the next room. Thank you. Hi, Polly. Gee, I thought Rolf was my friend, but now I'm not so sure. What do you think? Get your teeth as wide as they can be. Oh, no, my teeth? They don't like my teeth? I guess I'm gonna have to find some new friends. There must be some friendly people around here somewhere. Excuse me, I'm looking for a new friend. Don't bother me, kid. I'm late for work. Wow! If that guy can make friends by playing music, I'll bet I can make lots of friends by telling funny jokes. Hold it. Listen to this. What's black and white, black and white, and black and blue? Give up? A penguin falling downstairs. <laughs> waka waka. Want to be my friend? Gosh, I'd rather get a tomato from a friend than money from a stranger. Poor Fuzzy. Ah! Let's talk about making up. Cause breaking up is a sad situation. Shaking hands is the thing to do. Cause me and you are a good combination. It feels awful when everybody's upset with each other, huh? Feels awful? And I don't know how to make anybody feel better. Take two peanuts and call me in the morning. Huh? Gosh. I guess the only thing to do is to try talking to Piggy. Uh, gee, Piggy, couldn't we be friends again? Really? I don't understand you, Kermit. Before you said that I talked too much and that I was dumb. And now you want to be friends? But I never said that. <laughs> you talk too much. Huh? Well, don't move, partner. I got you covered. Hey, I thought Skeeter said that. Don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. Waka, waka, waka. You mean you didn't say that, Fuzzy? Uh-uh. Does this mean you're still my friend? Of course, Fuzzy. You're my best bear buddy. Huh? She. All this time we've been mad at each other because we thought what Polly said was what we said. Oh, Kermie. I always knew you were the sweetest frog in the world. 
I guess it's always better to talk things over after an argument, huh, Scooter? You mean you still want to be my sister? Uh-huh. <laughs> Are we still friends, Animal? Friends! Kids! Quick! We've got to get Polly back in his cage before Nanny comes in. Here, boy! Polly! Polly! Come here, Polly! Get in your cage! Come here, Polly! Over here! Well, what do you think? Do we keep Polly? No! What? But I thought you liked him. We thought so too, Nanny. Polly's nice and all that. And we wouldn't want you to give him back if you really love him. But, well... He, he talks, talks too, too much. much. Too much. Too much. <laughs> he talks too much. He talks too much. <laughs> Gosh, does this mean poor Polly won't have a home? Not necessarily, Fozzie. I think I know someone who might like him. I'll make a phone call. Everything's going to work out fine, kids. Officer Carruthers wants to adopt Polly. Hey, me! Great! Hello, Polly. Ah, uh, Roger, 1 Adam 13. See the woman at the corner of Sunset and Bronson, code 2. <laughs> <laughs> I think Polly and I are going to get along just fine. You'll never take me alive, Carlos. Me, sir. I'm Neva Holmes. What are you guys doing? We're the Royal Exterminator. And we've come to get rid of a pest for the Wicked Queen. What are you talking about? We got a call from the Wicked Queen. Telling us to get rid of a Snow White pest. related to E.T. What? I'm going to be Snow White. And you're the Wicked Queen. <laughs> That's Snow Biz. The magic mirror tells you true. Compared to Snow White, you belong in a zoo. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. So stick around for the weirdest version of Snow White you've ever seen. Huh? Any of you guys know how to get to uh, Grandma's house? Uh -uh. <laughs> okay, places, everyone. Muppet Babies will return after these messages. It's coming, and it tastes so sweet. You'll hop when you eat. Come on, honey smack. Hey. Sweet part of this nutritious breakfast. What are those kids up to? Tastes so sweet. You hot when you eat. Big up. <laughs> I like new Giggles cookies because we've got two kinds of cream inside. He likes Giggles funny faces. There's fudge and vanilla cream in each one. I can't believe how good this is. New Giggles Cookie. Two kinds of cream in each funny face. Are you going to eat that? <laughs> Muppet Babies will return. This is CBS. She's so handsome, but he has bad breath, a symptom of gum disease. I just came from a periodontist, a dentist who treats gum disease. I love you. Presented by the American Academy of Periodontology. And this station. She's Chris Everett Lloyd. 
And he's Tony Segreto. Join us along with the top players in the world competing now on Key Biscayne at the Lipton International Players Championship. Join us. You'll be playing, Tony? Come on, I'll be working. <laughs> the Lipton <laughs> International Players Championship. And Channel 4, an official sponsor of the tournament. A, a perfect, perfect match. John Hambrick and Susan Lickman, weeknights at 6 and 11 on News 4. And now, back to Muppet Babies. for taking us to the lovely play, Mrs. Nanny. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Bunsen. You too, Beaker. I like the part where those seven little aliens brought the pretty girl back to life. Fuzzy, it was the prince who brought her back to life. Yeah, and those were little aliens, Fuzzy. They were dwarves. It was Snow White and the seven dwarves. Really? I thought they were related to E.T. Ooh, I'm exhausted. I don't know about you kids, but I'm going to go take a little nap. Okay, Daddy. That place sure was cool. I want to be an actor when I grow up. Me too. Oh, why wait till we grow up? We can be actors right now. What do you mean, Kermit? Easy. All we have to do is put on a play of our own. I know. Let's do Snow White. Good idea, Skeeter. Our play will be even better than the one we just saw. The first thing we have to do is choose who plays which part. And since I am the most beautiful, you want more to play Snow White, right? No way! What? I want to play Snow White. You can be the Wicked Queen. Ma? The Wicked Queen? Uh-huh. There's a fair way to decide who gets to be Snow White. There is? Sure, we'll flip a coin. Here's the nickel, Beaker. You flip. Call it, Piggy. Uh, heads. No, no, tails. Ha, <laughs> tails. I won. Uh, I'm afraid not, Piggy. Beaker said heads. Oh, well, I said heads first, remember? No way, Piggy. You called tails. I won fair. Square. I'm going to be Snow White. And you're the Wicked Queen. <laughs> you should be the director, Kermit. And we can be the seven aliens. Bye. Sorry. She, I guess I better start directing her. Piggy, Skeeter, see if you guys can find some costumes. Oh, boy. Gonzo, Animal, you take care of props and sets. No sweat, director, sir. No sweat. <laughs> Rolf, you're in charge of music. Out of sight. And, uh, Bunsen, you and Beaker handle the special effects. Okay, Kermit. Ooh, that's great, guys. Careful, Beaker. Ready, Scooter? Whoa! This is gonna be a perfect stage. There's a pop-up picture book here somewhere with a great castle in it. Here! Woo Thanks, animal. That was cool. Like the Wicked Queen? You look more like... Let me help you with that makeup, Skeeter. Look, everybody! Skeeter would make a much better Wicked Queen. See? I should be Snow White. I should really. Da-da. Da-da-da. 
Forget it, Piggy. I got the part and I'm playing Snow White. Oh, oh well. <laughs> That's Snow Biz. Oh. I guess it was really none of my biz anyway. Huh? Right, Bazooka Beak. Okay. Places, everyone. Wrong set animal. Oops. Good building. Quit goofing off, animal. Sorry. Let's have the music, Rose. Sorry. Uh, once upon a time, there was a big castle in which there lived a very wicked queen. Hold it! How do you expect me to play the queen with a castle the size of a cookie? This is a play, Piggy. You've got to use your imagination. Oh, okay. I'm imagining a fabulous castle fit for a queen as beautiful as you want. I can't stand it. Yoo-hoo, subjects! You may have three seconds to feast your eyes on moi. That's enough. I don't want to blind them with my radiant beauty. Snow White, you're just a pig. Ah! You lying good for nothing, mirror, you. Whoa, whoa. Hey, take it easy, Piggy. This is just a play, you know. Gee, uh, I guess I got carried away with my part. It won't happen again, Kermy. Okay, let's go on. I said I brought a ladder for just such a situation. Oh, I haven't quite got the hang of this prop man job yet. <laughs> Thank you. No sweat. Beaker, hand me the hose. What are you guys doing? We're the Royal Exterminator. And we've come to get rid of a pest for the Wicked Queen. What are you talking about? We got a call from the Wicked Queen, telling us to get rid of her Snow White pest. Huh? That's no bug. That's me. I'm Snow White. You are? Please, don't hurt me. I'm not a pest. The Wicked Queen is just jealous of me because I'm cuter than she is. What? You're right, Beaker. Don't worry, Snow White. You run off and hide in the forest, and we'll tell the Wicked Queen that we debugged her castle. Oh, thank you! Watch out for that last crowd! Huh? Hey, you were great, Skeeter. Don't you think so, Piggy? 
he was fair. Of course, if I were playing Snow White, it would have been superb. Okay. Um, okay, guys, get ready for the next scene. Animal, try to get the set right this time, okay? Okay. Oh, brother, now we need new trees. Me won't, me won't. Oh, boy. Animal, you're not in this scene. Okay. And so, as Snow White wandered through the uh, uh, forest, she came upon a little house. Hey, where's the little house? Oops. Thanks, Animal. And so, Snow White came upon a little house. Is anybody home? Babies will return after these messages. Ronald McDonald and friends in... Shipping up for breakfast! I love morning exercises! The music! And having breakfast at McDonald's when we're done! Oh, yummy! Let's exercise faster! <laughs> oh, here we go! I love going for a spin! It's a good time for the great taste! It's Ken and New Jewel Secrets Barbie with three fabulous secrets. We girls love lots of jewels to wear. Right, Barbie? Jewel Secrets Barbie. Jewel Secrets. Wow. Step out of that gown for a night on the town. Jewel Secrets. Just right for a disco night. Barbie has one more secret. Her ball gown is a purse. For you. Jewel Secrets Barbie doll has three dazzling looks with matching play jewels. Ken dolls sold separately. New for Mattel. Mmm, my super golden crisp cereal is the life of this nutritious breakfast. Can't believe there's eight vitamins hiding in that sweet, crispy wheat. Well, well, Frankie the Finn and my old pal Sharky. What's up, fellas? Your time, sugar bear, would cruise for a crunch. How about a vitamin pack punch? Let's get it. Last flight to the coast. Thanks for the lift, boys. I can't get enough super golden crisp. It's got crunch with punch. Yeah. And now, back to Muppet Babies. Ooh, this chocolate is sticky and gooey. Wow! Would 
you mind telling moi what you're doing? Make chocolate soda. <laughs> mm. Ew, animal! Piggy, we've got to finish rehearsing our play. Come out of there, you soda jerk! Uh -uh. Come on, Kermit. We're ready to start act two. Oh, okay. Benson, Beaker, hit the lights! Wait a minute, where's the set? Come on! Look out! And so, after the seven dwarfs made Snow White even more beautiful than before... Don't worry, Snow White. You can stay here and hide out from the Wicked Queen. And in return for your kindness, I'll keep your shop clean and do manicures. Set change. Speaker <laughs> hey, playing Snow White. Why she not half as pretty as uh, Piggy? What? You're on. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, where was I? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> I'm sure my royal exterminators have taken care of Snow White by now. Uh, uh, Snow White still lives in the forest glen and dwells with seven tiny men. The magic mirror tells you true. Compared to Snow White, you belong in a zoo. Uh-oh. <coughs> Gosh, she sure takes her acting seriously. This will fix that cute little Snow White. Uh, Piggy? <gasps> uh, yes, Kermie? What's in the box? Oh, why, uh, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Act three. <laughs> Later, at the Seven Dwarfs Beauty Salon, Snow White was sweeping up while the others were out to lunch. Hark! Someone is knocking at the door. Hark! He's knocking at the... <coughs> oh, <laughs> hi there. You must be the lady who wanted a manicure. Um, actually, I... Come right in. You're lucky. I just had a cancellation. My, you certainly let your nails go. What? Oh, well, that's what we're here for. We'll fix you right up. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. Oops. Sorry. I'm kind of new at this. You're my first manicure. Don't worry about it. You won't be around to do your second. What did you say? Uh, I said you're going to get a big tip in just a second. I am? Why, thank you. Gee, whatever could this be? Where the seven dwarves live, 
Uh, where's the forest animal? Uh oh, forest! Thanks. Welcome! And so in the forest glen, the seven sad dwarves cried over poor Snow White. In the land, the wicked queen got the upper hand. Ah, now we're crying at the terrible news. Everybody's got the Snow White blues. Snow White blues. It's giving us the blue, blue. Mm -hmm. Our hearts are really breaking. We wish you would awaken and take away the Snow White blues. Oh. dripping and my nose is wet she was the sweetest girl i ever met something scared her and she blew up me everybody's got the snow white blues snow white blues it's giving us the boo -hoo -hoo. our hearts are really breaking we wish you would awaken and take away the snow white Hey, someone's coming. Whoa, Horsey, whoa! That's the silliest looking horse I ever saw. Well, don't tell me. Tell Animal, he drew it. You wouldn't happen to be a handsome prince with the power to kiss beautiful princesses and wake them up, would you? Uh-uh. Oh, no. <laughs> She'll never wake up. I do know a little first aid, though. You do? Uh-huh. Try Go it. Ahead. Why, uh, um, I have never seen such a beautiful princess before. Her skin is soft as snow. Her eyes are, um, her eyes are, um, like two shimmering pearls. Her hair is like, like, uh, amber waves of grain. Up the mountain's majesty. Let Kermie kiss her. Um, uh, the big bad wolf came looking for Red Riding Hood. Huh? Ah. Any of you guys know how to get to, uh, Grandma's house? Uh-uh. Hey, what's he doing here? Excuse me, but I think you're in the wrong fairy tale. Ah. Um, that's not the way the story goes, Piggy. It isn't? Oh, I'll try it again. And there's the handsome prince. I smell the feet of a small green frog. What? Piggy, don't you even know the ending? The handsome prince has to kiss me so I can live happily ever after with him. Not if I can help it, toots. It's our play and we're gonna finish it. Nobody's kissing my prince but moi. Come on, Piggy. It's just a play. Yeah. Let us finish it. Vamos. It's all the yelling. Yelling? I didn't hear any yelling, Nanny. We were just practicing our play, Snow White. Yeah. Would you like to see it? Why, I'd love to. Snow White, huh? I always wanted to play the part of the Wicked Queen. You yeah. did? Uh-huh. She's my favorite, too, Nanny. That's exactly why I chose to play her. Huh? I knew it was the best part. Who's going to play that boring Snow White when you could be the Wicked Queen? What? I'll go get my glasses and I'll be right back. Don't start without me. I want 
want to play the Wicked Queen. Let me play I want to be the Wicked Queen. Me play. Me play. Me play. Me play. Me play. I'd be the best Wicked Queen of all because I'm the funniest. <clears throat> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the funniest bear of all? Fozzy Bear, I never lie. When you tell jokes, I want to cry. See? Pretty funny, huh? And now, these messages. They don't hang around in ladies' clubs or in a three-piece suit. They're too big to call them dainty. Too big to call them cute. Yeah, they're so big on chocolate. Ooh, chocolate out to here. It's hard to keep up on the back of three months or two. On the agenda for this evening. Oh, I have the time of my life. Can that be done for the $7? I'm moving my feet for a day so neat. That does not help my taste. Pop, 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 my feet can't stop. Until they pop up nice and hot. Because it tastes so good. I'm moving my feet to the pop star feet. Moving real fast. To get that great berry taste in Crunchberry cereal, Captain Crunch sails high seas to a land filled with food some danger. There grow the sweetest, juiciest berries, but they're still not crunch berries. No, not till crunch power locks their sweet berry taste in, so it's tough to sog out. And only then does Captain Crunch return with my tasty crunch berries for kids everywhere. My God, what a cereal! Crunch berries are a very good part of a balanced breakfast. About 80% of the kids are all into drugs. Thursday, a television drama you will never forget. David Toma. Make it be over today. The Drug Knot. bird. Let's take him home. Hey, no, stop. Uh, I'm not a bird. I'm a weirdo. When I get out of here, animal, you're in big trouble. Do you oh, hear bye, me? Bye. And now, these messages. For. Ice Cream Jones. And new ice cream cone cereal. My name's Ice Cream Jones. I'm bringing the kids my ice cream cones. A crunchy new cereal for breakfast. The great taste of ice cream cones. Whoa! I'll have vanilla. Give me chocolate chip. They look like little ice cream cones. And taste like them. The crunchy part of this nutritious breakfast. My name's Ice Cream Jones. With the great taste of ice cream cones. New ice cream cone cereal. Oh, 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 my best friend and an Oreo cookie. She loves the crunchy chocolate. I like the creamy middle. Been eating them this way since we were very little. We'll always be friends with O-R-E-O. -E friends are better when you pair them. Oreos are better when you share them. Oreo cookies. Share them. CBS. Presenting Ronald McDonald in person. Hi, kids. Ronald in person means fun. 
Juggling. Not bad, huh? And surprises. <laughs> and don't forget smiles. John Hambrick and Susan Lickman, weeknights at 6 and 11 on News 4. Perfect. I know just who she means. After yesterday, I expected bread and water for lunch. But look, today Mom gave me a kiss. A little Hershey's kiss. Well, my mother says nobody's perfect. She could be my sister. Hershey's Kisses. They're only little till you taste them. The Disappearing Birders with Ronald McDonald and friends. Wow! Hamburglar has a magic kit! Ooh, ooh. Ah, magic! Rubble, 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 cut camera! I should have known you'd have something like that up your oh. sleeve. <laughs> rubble, rubble. All gone! All mine. Oh, no, you don't. Oops. Now for a little trick. Rubble, rubble? We can all enjoy. <laughs> it's a good time for the great taste of McDonald's. I'm moving my feet for a taste so neat. That just the hops on taste. Hop, 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 my feet can't stop. Until they pop up nice and hot. Because the taste so good. I'm moving my feet to the pop tart feet. We now return to Smurfs. Oh, love is in the air. My darling Lizardo is sure to shower me with kisses. Once I bring in these Valentine goodies, slime mold, pigweed, and pond scum. But the best is yet to come. Me. Yeah. I just love my work, and there's so much to do. Now, those two look like a perfect match. Uh, wonderful weather we're having, uh, aren't we? Uh, 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 yes, it is. Oh, my! Uh-oh! Oh, what luck! Spore rot! I thought it was out of season. That is going to get... Cupid Zero in Agatha. Let's smurf out of here, Sarge. Oh, what's the hurry? Under Cupid's spell, Agatha's going to fall in love with the first one she sees. And by Smurf, it's not going to be me. Hey, Grandpa, wait for me. <laughs> yeah, phew! It works! My smurf allergic sniffer works! Yeah, yeah! Those little blue bonbons will soon be mine! <laughs> it you! What's that awful smell? Oh, Gargamel! My darling Gargamel! Watch out! Uh, excuse me. This looks like a bad case of love at first fright. <laughs> Get your slime picking hands off of me, you flea bag hag. Oh, Gargi Boo. I just love it when you're mad. You're so irresistible. <laughs> Get off of me, you slobbering sow. Whoops. Sorry, Gargi. I can see you're just a, a prisoner of love. <laughs> What's gotten into you? Let's stop beating around the bush, turtle dove. Let's get married. Marry you? Why, I can't think of anything in the world that would disgust me more. What could you possibly offer me? Love. Nah. Pain. Nah. Smurfs. Nah. What? Smurfs? Why, of course. Smurfs. Why didn't I think of that before? Look. Bring me those little blue bubble heads, and we'll be married at once. Oh, Gargi, my love. 
And your wish is my command. <laughs> Just the thought of you makes my heart burn. Oh, I know what she means. I feel the same way. Thinking of her gives me heartburn, too. Excuse me, Cargy, but do you plan to live in the hovel after you're <laughs> married? I'm not marrying anyone, you dunderhead. All I want to do is turn the Smurfs into gold. Now get the cages ready for expecting guests. I wouldn't miss with Hagatha. She might flip her wig when she finds out she's being tricked. Time heals all wounds, dear boy. I'm sure she'll get over me in about a hundred years. <laughs> all I need is something borrowed, something blue, like Smurfs. Then dear old Gargamel will be mine forever. <laughs> That, that, that. This is taking forever. We've been looking all day for something smurfy, and you've rejected everything I've recommended. Give me a hint. What are we looking for? We're looking for the absolute super smurfiest gift anyone has ever smurfed a green bee for Valentine's Day. Well, that narrows it down. A Valentine's Day gift for the old geezer smurf, eh? <laughs> I'll give him a gift he'll never forget. <laughs> for the owner. Oh, Brainy, I just knew it was left here for me. I picked this out especially for you, Clumsy. Oh, thanks, Brainy. Everything you always wanted to know about Brainy Smurf. <laughs> and more. <laughs> Golly. Thanks for all the presents, fellow Smurfers. This is the best Valentine's Day I've ever smurfed. Celebrating salamanders. Smurf out of my way. Here's your smurfiest gift, Crampy. Oh. Smurfily, gee, this walking stick's a beauty, and it looks sturdy, too. Oh, oh. Uh, it is indeed a remarkable presence, asset. But uh, where did you find it? You're a fool, Pappy Smurf. It was right under my nose. Hmm, a fine walking stick like that must belong to someone. <laughs> oh. Once I turn the Smurfs into gold, I'll be rich, Azriel. Rich, rich, rich! Gargi, oh, Gargamel, where are you? Look what I brought you. <sighs> I've got your Smurfy Wurfies. Now let's get married. <clears throat> Not so fast, my love. The Smurfs will be yours when I'm yours. Whatever you say, Augie dear. But, but, but surely you don't want to be married in those rags. You only get married once, you know. Oh, you're so right, darling. I must go home and change immediately. Yeah, but, 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 but why are you taking the Smurfs? Don't you trust me? Your future husband? Oh, Gargi Poo, I didn't mean to be so heartless. Here, I'll be back as soon as possible. It's too soon for me. And not soon enough for us. Well, you old Smurf, it looks like it's time to go for the gold. <laughs> what are we gonna do, Hardy? It's time to make every little witch's wish come true. <laughs> oh, I wish I were dead. Why, sweeties, I wasn't expecting you so soon, and I'm not quite ready yet. Well, I'm as ready as ever. Yeah, but, but, but Hoggy, dear, we need someone to marry us, and it's so hard to find a good wizard or warlock on the spur of the moment. Uh, I'm afraid we'll just have to... Wait! I'm a bona fide wizard. I can marry you two lovesick youngsters right now. Oh, splendid. Yeah, but, 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 but... I can be the maid of honor. And I can be the best slurf. Uh, yeah, but, 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 slurf a doodle. I can give away the beautiful bride. And here's the wedding ring. Oh, Pappy Gargamel, I'm so happy for you and Mama Hogatha. Oh, Gargi, we'll have the best wedding ever. Enough of this nonsense. I'm not marrying anyone, much less this overstuffed potato. Overstuffed potato? Why, why, whatever do you mean, my love? I'm not your love or anyone else's. All I wanted from you were the Smurfs. But you said you'd marry me if I brought you your little blue beauties. <laughs> Don't I get anything in return? Why, of course you do. <laughs> Oh, I'll teach that wimp 
be with her to play with the affections of a lady. Now, where was I at? Oh, yes! <laughs> I was about to become a rich wizard. So, you think you can break my heart, do you? I'll break more than your heart. I'll break your bones. Yow! Wait till I get my hands on you, you creepy cat. Julie, Ducky, Peppy Slurp. Why is Hogan acting so mean to Peppy Gargamel? Because, Seth said, when Hogan's heart was broken, so was Cupid's spell. It looks like this calls for a double dose of romance. Phew. Oh, that woman sure has a bad temper. You can run, Gargamel, but you can't hide from me. Ouch! Bullseye! I'm sorry, Grampy, but I never gave you a Valentine's Day gift, and I wanted it to be just perfect. Oh, but you gave me the Smurf tootinest present of all, Sassy. The gift of love. Why, that's what Valentine's Day is all about. You see, Sasset, because you put so much effort in finding the right gift, you have shown how much you really care. Cute and coyotes! Come back, my sweet little pigweed. Please, come back. Smart will return after these messages. That was good. Ronald McDonald and friends in Daydream. If I had my way, I'd spend every day with Ronald and all of his friends. Come on, let's have fun. Everybody, let's go to McDonald's. Wait for me. What a wonderful dream. It would be such fun to do. Dana, we're going to McDonald's. And sometimes happy dreams really come true. It's a good time for the great days of McDonald's. I like the fact the guy who changed the straw and made my heart see better than We now return to Smurfs. But, Godfather, you said you wanted to see into the future, and she came highly recommended. Of course I want to see into the future, you fool. The age of wizardry is past. A new era is dawning. And if I can be the first to see it, I will become the most powerful wizard of my time. Wait. Please, Godfather. I, I know someone who can really help you see into the future. Do not try my patience, groveling godson. Who is this someone? Father Time. I can lead you to his cave. When the future beckons, there is no time for subtlety. Uh, but how about time for a rest? He'd be just asking. You know what must be done, godson. You heard him, Asriel. Heave. No! 
Why, you ruffians, how dare you break down my door? When I get my hands on you, Gargamel, you'll be history. Mm, yeah, yeah, you have to catch me first. <laughs> how did I do, Godfather? Excellent. Now bring me the sickle, Gargamel. <laughs> right away. You have done well, Godson. Perhaps I was wrong about you. But I don't think so. Balthazar, release me at once and give me back my sickle. You might disturb the fabric of time. That's exactly what I intend to do. Now tell me, where is this fabric of time? It's all around us, you fool. And now you've torn a hole in it. Good. At last I can see what the future holds. Get away from me. <laughs> If that's the future, I've seen enough! Once Gargamel may have the right idea, we're getting out of here. But don't you see what you've done? You've opened a hole into the distant past. I can't let my past mistakes interfere with my future plans for the time. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I hope I didn't lose it. Nah, we'll find it. Come on. Looks like something found it first. Cream and crawfish? What do you call that? I don't know, but when he walks, he sounds like thunder. Smurferoo. Little thunder seems to like you, Sloggy. And I think he wants to play. Okay, fella. supposed to rain today? Well, it obviously is going to rain, Smurfette, so I suggest getting the Smurf barrel covered, because there's nothing worse than soggy Smurf berries. <laughs> Unless it's taking orders from Brainy Smurf. Very funny. Hey, what was that? <gasps> and what is that? Yay! It's a monster! of the centuries. Father Time should be told about this. I think you may be right, Nat. But Father Time will know how to get Little Thunder back home. Fighting hedgehogs, Pappy! Father Time's nowhere to be found! I'm afraid something terrible has happened to Father Time. Papa Slurf! Papa Slurf! Something terrible is happening to Little Thunder! Hmm. Loss of tail tension, flaking scales. He'll be all right, won't he, Pappy, won't he? I'm afraid he may not, Sasset, if we can't get him back to his own time. We have to do something in the meantime, Bobby Smurf. An herbal tonic may keep his strength up, but I'll need mugwort, fennel root, mint leaves. 
lucky, Brady. I got plenty of mint leaves. <laughs> well, I had plenty of mint leaves. Golly, what's this? Oh, probably nothing of any importance, Clumsy. I'll just hang on to it. All we need in our net are some mint leaves. Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, look what I found. It's important, isn't it? Great Smurfs. This material is from Balthasar's cape. Smurfaroo. So he's the one responsible for Father Time's disappearing. Yes, we must get to Balthasar's castle and rescue Father Time. He's the only one who can help Little Thunder get back home. <laughs> Are we been willows? You'll never make us. Maybe this will help. Say ah. Uh. <laughs> Hungry and thirsty, Father Time? There's enough food and drink for two if you show me how to see the future. Hey, well, then, then, then how come there's not enough food for three? <laughs> Let's make a deal. I'll let you go and give you back your secret if you'll just tell me how to cut a little tiny hole into the future. Uh, you're not really going to let him go, are you? Of course not. No deal, Balthazar. Then hear me well, ancient one. I'm going to start slashing and hacking at your precious fabric of time until nothing is left but ribbons. The primitive past will pour into the present. Stop! Very well. You win, Balthazar. I knew you'd see things my way. Gargamel, bring my good friend for the time something to eat. And a little for ourselves, eh, Azriel? <laughs> oh. Little thunder is slowing down again, Papa Smurf. I think he needs some more tonic. There's only a little bit left, Papa Smurf. I'm afraid little thunder is too weak to go on. I'll stay here with him, Papa Smurf, but please hurry. We'll Smurf our best, Slouchy. Golly, Papa Smurf, how do we get in? Quietly, Clumsy. Up the chain, my little Smurfs. And speed us of the essence because we don't want to wake up. The Moat Monster! Like this? No, no, Balthazar, that's wrong. It's all in the wrist. More like this? For a powerful wizard, you're a very slow runner. I'm losing patience, old man. Show me how to cut into the future. How can I show you without moving my hands? Then I'll release you. Now, no more excuses. Well, is it future yet? Yeah. What? Where, where? Thanks to you, Godfather, there's Smurf stew in our future. Smurf stew? How revolting. Get them out of my sight immediately. Very well. That leaves more din din for us. Come, Masriel. <coughs> now, Father Time, back to the future. I am so happy now, for as you can see, I have a cage of Smurfs to fill my own tummy. Yum, 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 yum. Sounds like Gargamel. Just think, Azriel. Smurf stew with enough for leftovers. Oh, no. Gargamel's caught every Smurf. Am I going to save him, Little Thunder? You stay here. Hey, let me go, you big Smurf lapper. <laughs> That's the last time you try scampering up my shin, you little blue bug. <laughs> Father Time's sickle away from Balthazar before it's too late. The first uh, twist to the left, then uh, a half a uh, twist to the right. At last, the future is mine! Ow! Gotcha! In the nick of time! Thank you, my little blue friends! Please, Father Time, help Little Thunder! Oh, he's gonna die! <laughs> I hope there's enough time! Stand back! Just 
about the Jacques? <laughs> Father Time is right. If you wait long enough, the future is bound to come to you. <laughs> what a show. That Papa Smurf guy reminds me of me. Maybe you're related. I doubt it. I don't think I look good in blue anyway. Hey, you sure you don't want to try one of these eggs? No, thanks. I'm full. Too bad. I guess I'll eat them all myself. Uh, we'll be right back with Alvin and the Chipmunks. Oh, space exploring is hard work. Yeah, now I've got to refuel myself. I know. Let's go to the Milky Way. That'll hit the spot. The fun's just starting. Quick will make it rich, chocolatey. really puts me in orbit. Nestle Quick, the taste that gets you going. A new racing team is shifting into gear. Mask. Pull over, bullet. Uh-oh, got a bit of iguana on my tail. Bulldog, prepare to assist. Mask vehicles each sold separately with a figure. Kendra with a bike will fill my blade. Engage hover mode. We're going fishing. Mask. Bulldog, fire! Where illusion is the ultimate weapon. Mask, Bulldog, Iguana, and Bullet, each sold separately. New from Kenner. Since I can't get tricks from kids, I'll make some myself. <laughs> it's part of this nutritious breakfast. With orangey oranges, lemony lemons, grapey grapes, fruity fruits. <laughs> Hope I didn't gum it up. Huh? Dummy rabbits in fruity flavors? Uh-oh, I better hide them. But where? In the box of Silly Rabbit, where you kids will find four free gummy rabbits. Gummy rabbits in tricks. Yeah. Who put the straw in the high seat fruit drink? A new cool straw that wiggles in there. A new long straw in the high seat fruit drink. With vitamin C for me and my friend. Who was that man? Lots of pound puppies need your love. Ask for me, Petey. And when they're this lonely and this lovable, one more is always welcome. Come share it all, a cousin care and puppy love. Pound puppies. Each sold separately. From Tonka. Here's a very unusual kind of egg that's only around till Easter. The original cream egg from Cadbury, made from Cadbury's rich, smooth dairy milk chocolate. Inside this thick shell are creamy yellow yolks surrounded by delicious white filling. Cadbury's cream eggs. Why, well, they're the best thing to come along since the Easter Bunny. And when he's gone, they're gone. Tony Danza! Who is it? Mickey Mouse! The Disney Sunday movie takes a special look back at a magical man. The real tribute to Walt Disney is the feeling that stays in our hearts. Aren't you proud of Mr. Disney? Well, I'm so proud, I think I'll bust. <laughs> Disney goes to the Academy Awards. Tomorrow. Weeknights at 7 o'clock, it's hip to be square with John Davidson on the Hollywood Squares. Watch your favorite stars play for laughs while contestants battle it out for a chance to win a car. So catch the Hollywood Squares weeknights at 7 o'clock on Channel 10. This is ABC. 
You always wanted a grandfather clock. The old-fashioned kind made of solid hardwood with fine German clockworks. This Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 10 to 10 at the Plantation Holiday Inn, you can buy a grandfather clock at the unbelievable savings from 40 to 60% off. For example, you can buy an $800 clock for only $3.95. This factory-sponsored sale is the largest old London grandfather clock show ever seen in South Florida. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Plantation Holiday Inn. University at Sunrise from 10 to 10. Free delivery and free setup. The one and only channel 10. It's the Pound Puppy! Here's Cooler! Whopper! Nose Marie! Bright Eyes! And Owler! <laughs> Dear. I want a Susie spit-up doll, a Peter Piranha bathtub toy, a dinky doodle doll with diaper, 
us? That's very nice, Bertina. But wouldn't you really like to close down that miserable puppy pound for Christmas? And this year, we're finally going to get our wish. Good afternoon, Mr. Hubert. Got anything for me, huh? Do you, do you, do you? Uh, nope. Just some bills and whatnot. Oh, is that all? Oh, and here's some of Holly's mail for the pound, too. Gas bill, electric bill, food bill. Wonderful, just wonderful. She's the only person I've ever met who's happy to get bills and, uh, what not. <laughs> More bills for Holly. Put these with the others, Bertina. Summer squash. These are pretty bills because they're all Holly's. Thousands of lovely overdue bills. She can't possibly pay them all, which means the pound will be shut down for good. And the puppies will be out in the cold on Christmas Eve. <laughs> So the good pups did whatever they could to spread happiness through the whole neighborhood. They gave the folks puppies and presents and jam. Thank you, Pound Puppies. It's our pleasure, ma'am. The Pound Puppies' hearts are just bursting with gladness. But just around the corner was a heart filled with sadness. Hey, you! Get out of those trash cans! This is our neighborhood. Go back to the other side of the tracks where you belong. Oh, sorry, pal, but Glee Club tryouts were last week. <laughs> What's wrong, fella? Don't you have a home? Now, calm down, honey lamb. We're your friends. I've never had friends. Well, you're in luck, Tiny, because... Uncle Santa wants you. Yes, the Elf Corps is looking for a few good pups. Santa's elves. The few, the proud, the wacky. Consider yourself drafted. Oh, thank you. This is beautiful. There's that upstart mongrel. We'll get even with him. Just wait. Come on, Tiny. Let's get you back to the pound for some nice, warm kibble. The pound? What is the pound? Why, it's where all us little old puppies live. Oh, can I stay there, too? At the pound? Absolutely, and lootly, kid. Our pound is your pound. Closed? But how can you close the pound? I'm sorry to do this on Christmas Eve, Holly, but the pound is so behind in its bills, well, I just had to close it down. I'm very sorry. Oh. What bills is he talking about? We didn't get any bills. Oh, Holly! This may be your answer coming down the street. I have a Christmas present for you. Five months of overdue bills. You can't possibly pay them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, read them and weep. I can't believe this. Well, it's true. Now come home, young lady. You're going straight to bed. No, I want to stay with the puppies. Too bad. You're coming home this instant. No, you can't do this. Please, Auntie Katrina, please. <laughs> <laughs> We will return after these messages.
Twix puts the dig in your gig. It puts the boom into your beat. Puts the rhythm in your feet. Keeps you rocking along. Puts the soul into your song. You can keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Chocolate caramel, satisfaction. Like Christmas cookie, get you back in the action. There's nothing to sticks to Twix. Can't fix. You can keep on, keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Caramel or peanut butter Twix. The Legoland Solar Power Transporter. You can build this transport pretending you're on Mars. The box shows ways to change it by snapping off the cars. You can snap them back together and get a scouting craft. Or match them with the lasers for a base defender craft. You can make up something wild, supercharged and new. The sky's the limit when the team is Legoland and you. There are 19 space sets you can collect, each sold separately. The Solar Power Transporter is part of the Legoland Space Collection and has hundreds of bricks for building from Lego Systems. An O.G. Readmore here, an ordinary sidewalk on an ordinary day. But did you ever stop to think that you could get away, take a journey on a rocket, take a voyage on a ship? Just read a book and off you go, because reading is a trip. Explore a tropic jungle. Ooh. Discover distant planet. <laughs> or reach the glacier's tip. Just read a book and off you go, because reading, <laughs> yes, is a trip. We now return to the Pound Puppies. Twas the night before Christmas and all through the pound. Not a creature was stirring, not even a hound. Mainly because we're locked out. We'll sneeze to death with that. No, we'll be, we'll be to breath. We'll be very, very cold. How could Katrina Stoneheart be so cruel and heartless as to throw us poor, defenseless and terribly cute puppies out in the cold on Christmas Eve? Well, what can I tell you, Nosemarie? Katrina's the villain on the show. She's just doing a job. Boy, now what? That Santa won't even be able to find us. Yeah, I can see it now. Gazillion toys, yeah! Oh, 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 oh. But since I can't find you, I'll have to give all your toys to Bright Eyes, to Car, uh, to Kula, uh, to Bratina, yeah! To Bratina, that's it! Oh, oh, oh. oh no! This means we won't get any toys! No toys! <laughs> Sorry, Tiny. It looks like this isn't gonna be much of a Christmas. Oh, that's okay. I'm just happy to be with my new friends. I bet that poor little puppy could even melt Katrina's stone heart. Stone heart. <laughs> happy holidays, pound puppies. <laughs> It's a hooting car, no, a, flo a floating car, a, a shooting star. <laughs> oh, no, it's me, your old friend, Zazu, the fairy dog mother. Oh, another perfect landing. But next time, try landing on somebody else. Zazu, what are you doing here? Oh, well, I've come in answer to a Christmas wish to help you reopen the pound. But Katrina's closed down this place for good. I mean, I mean, for bad. I mean, uh, 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 forever. If we could just talk to Katrina, uh, maybe she'd be our friend. Well, sorry, Tiny, but mean people like Katrina can't understand us pups. Hmm. Well, perhaps I can fix things so she can understand you. Aha! Here's Jump the Spell. <clears throat> Katrina Stoneheart, and this I say, tonight you'll see things the puppy's way. They'll take you on a magic trip. Abracadabra, and let her rib.
Oh, Cat Cat, this is such a glorious Christmas. Just knowing that those puppies are rotting out in the cold makes me feel all warm and wonderful inside. I feel strange. That's nothing new. You always seem strange to me. <laughs> a dog? A dog! What's a dog doing in this house? A whole bunch of little old dogs, Katrina Honey Pie. Honey Pie? How dare you talk to me like... Talk to me? Talking dogs? No! Help! I'm having a nightmare! Somebody pinch me! Please! Ow! Why, you little... Just following orders, ma'am. Yeah, mellow out, Katrina Babes. We got you booked for the night, so just sit back and relax. But, 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 but what do you want? Why are you here? We're gonna open your little old eyes to the wonderful world of puppies. Yeah, imagine if you were one of us. A puppy! No, no, anything but that! A good look. I'm a... a, 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 a puppy! Ah! Come along, doggy. Somebody wants to buy you for Christmas. Please, you can't do this. I'm not a puppy. I hate puppies. This puppy will make a wonderful gift. No, not that one. It's too scary. Sure, sure, that's, yeah, that's what they all say, see, yeah, yeah, but listen, tonight we're busted out of this joint, see, yeah, yeah, I'm so got you, I'm so Free, free, <laughs> free at last! That was a close one, pup. You better come back with us to the pound where it's safe. Yes, yes, oh, please. Like we're locked out. They're gonna tear down our little old pound and put up kitty land luxury homes for cats. No, what do I do? Where will I go? I don't know. Maybe you should ask him. <laughs> oh, oh, it was just a dream. A horrible dream. <laughs> You know, Cat Gut, maybe I have been too hard on the puppies. Maybe I should treat them better. Well, perhaps I should reopen the pound and try to live happily with the puppies throughout the year. Maybe, just maybe, the world could be a wonderful place where the puppies and I could live together in perfect peace and harmony. Uh. Zazu, <laughs> you should have seen Katrina. We just planted that little old dream in our head and she ran with it. Oh, well, I hope everything works out for you in pound puppies. Oh, and now I must be off. Uh, Merry Christmas to you all. And to all, uh, uh, oh, good night. Look, it's Katrina. She's coming over to reopen the pound. It worked. Hello, puppies. <laughs> Kittyland, Katrina's luxury homes for cats. Oh, it came to me in a dream. <laughs> oh, now we'll never get our toys. What are we going to do, Cooler Sweet Cakes? I'll tell you what you're not going to do, Sweet Cakes. You're not staying here because we don't like strays in our neighborhood. And we've got a special score to settle with that one. Whoa, Jack. Can't we settle this matter like ladies and gentle pups? I guess not.
will return after these messages. What scary bounces and has a face only a mother could love? Ugly ball. You can get one free from Bunker's Chewy Candy by sending 10 outside wrappers to Bunker's Ugly Ball, Box 1197, Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Ugly balls from Bunker's. You'll love them. I'm rooting for a terrific flavor from Bonkers Chewy Candy. Chewy chocolate bonkers. Rich chocolate outside, dark fudge inside. The delicious chocolatey taste of Chewy Chocolate Bonkers bonks you out. Ronan takes them all at a tap of the key. He pops. Jerry! Hey, boy! He's double teamed. He's driving over the top. Slam dunk for Jerry! What moves? Cronin's feet. They're all over him. He breaks loose. Swish! Jerry! You know, ever since I got this Nerf hoop, I don't mind going to my room to do my homework. Jerry! Are you studying? Cronin shoots from mid court. Yes! Does this kid ever miss? There's only one Nerf. Grandpa, tell me the sun kiss story again. Ah, the magic land of the sun kiss factory. <laughs> Sweetest and juiciest oranges ever wear the sunkiss name. We now return to the Pound Puppies. You mangy mutts! We'll show ya! Quick, this way! Canines, you should be ashamed acting violently in the presence of this pup. Yeah, why? What's so special about him? The same little old thing that's special about all of us. Yeah, deep down inside, we're all special. Correct, Amundo. So let's not blow our time picking on one pup because he's poor, or because he's weak, or just because he looks different than other pups. Right. We gotta remember what Christmas is all a snout. I mean, you know, a cloud. What it's for. A peace on earth. Goodwill toward men and dogs. I'm sorry if I did anything before uh, to make you upset. All I really want is to be your friend. Friendship. Now that's the nicest Christmas gift anyone can get. Merry Christmas, little fella. What are those people doing out 
out there? Why aren't they home opening their gifts? Don't they know it's Christmas? Oh, thank you, thank you all! Well, Holly, it's my pleasure to declare the Puppy Pound officially reopened! Yay! Oh, boy! Now we're gonna get our presents! I feel so warm and wonderful, I don't even care if I get any presents! You feeling okay? I'm feeling peachy keen, Whopper! I just realized that Christmas isn't about getting, it's about giving! We gave all those people gifties, and they gave us back our home! I guess you're right, but I still hope I get a bit, well, a mil, a, do a dozen, well, I hope I get a couple of presents. Excuse me, Holly, my son would like to adopt a puppy for Christmas. I'm sure we can find him the perfect pup! Come here, boy! I want this little guy. But Charlie, that poor puppy has a limp. I don't care, Mom. I love him. <laughs> Very well, then. We'll see that he's taken to a good veterinarian. Oh, I just love little old happy endings. <laughs> Goodbye, and thank you. expect every episode to end with a joke. Happy holidays, kids. And now, these messages. Give me an X! Give me an O! Give me Tic Tac Toe! Well, wherever I go, it's X in the nose. Makes me feel Hungry for my tic tac toes, they're so tasty. Chef Boy RV. Tick, 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 tac toes. New tic tac toes, a good hot meal. And when you get three X's or O's on your spoon, you win. Very good for Chef Boy RV. Tick, 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 tac toes. With and without meatballs. Yeah! In the laboratory of Dr. Frankenstein, something incredible was created. <laughs> the great taste of pure milk chocolate and delicious peanut butter. Unfortunately, no one would listen. And so the world would have to wait for the two great tastes that taste great together in Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Mmm, mmm, my super golden crisp cereal is the life of this nutritious breakfast. Can't believe there's eight vitamins hiding in that sweet, crispy wheat. Well, well, Frankie the Finn and my old pal Sharky. What's up, fellas? Your time, sugar bear. We're cruising for a quad. How about a vitamin pack punch? Let's get it. Last flight to the coast. Thanks for the lift, boys. I can't get enough super golden crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. Yeah. It's the Pound Puppy Pet Care Corner. Oh, the blazing scorching sun! Mellow out, Nose Marie. Sure, it's hot, but Holly remembered to make sure we have lots of water and plenty of shade. What about Rover next door? His master left him out in the sun with no water and no shaded place to cool him off. And what about that poor doggy across the street? Her mistress left her in the car. That car gets as hot as an oven. A puppy could die in there. Kids, don't be cruel to your pet. Make sure he has plenty of shade and fresh water. Stay tuned for the Bugs Bunny and Tweety Show next. Tomorrow, Tony Danza hosts Disney Goes to the Academy Awards. And Tuesday, Angela cuts loose to get rid of her midlife blues on Who's the Boss? Then Carol decides to put her money to work on a nose job on Growing Pains. This is ABC. Dear, Timmy's making a picture of New Tang again. New 
Tang Breakfast Beverage Crystals. Are you ready? Now it's all natural flavors. Are you ready for the big orange taste of New Tang? When time is going slow. You can see it up with fun. Well, I met her at the movies, and I sat her in my lap, and now I'm so in love with her, I feel just like a sap. Popcorn, she's my favorite movie star. Popcorn, she's my favorite snack, my fun. I like her best unbuttered with just a dash of salt, because she doesn't load me down with calories. Well, if you ask me to describe her, I say she's packed with fiber. She's my favorite movie star. This is AB. Constructs, you feel. Under tracks, you feel. Sky blazer. So separately. Action. Constructs. Constructs, Thundering Tracks, and Skyblazer, each sold separately from Fisher Price. Constructs! The one and only Channel 10. Campbell's invites you to watch it. How about colorizing the Smurfs? Green and pink would be nice. Two. This. Brian, how do you expect to be heard in this world if you don't let people know what you think? Now, where was I? Oh yeah, two. Ever thought of doing a cartoon about a lovable alien? But what about Punky Brewster? She's not an alien, is she? No, but she's on now. Well, why didn't you say so? Let's watch. free from Bunker's Chewy Candy by sending 10 outside wrappers to Bunker's Ugly Ball, Box 1197, Grand Rapids, Minnesota. Ugly Balls from Bunker's. You'll love them. I'm rooting for a terrific flavor from Bunker's Chewy Candy. Chewy chocolate Bunker's. Rich chocolate outside, dark fudge inside. <laughs> the delicious chocolatey taste of Chewy Chocolate Bunker's bonks you out. The night starts ordinary with forever friends. It's extraordinary. Each filled separately. Powder tail and rosy tail came to see you. All down us to forever friends. Making long tails always make us smile. Look so nice to forever friends. Cause now we're all dolled up with style. 
plushy tail comes with everything you see here. Other Forever Friends sold separately. New from Kenner. We now return to Punky Brewster. Six straight days of rain. I don't think I can stand it anymore. Old McLomley had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, with an oink oink this, and a quat quat this. Here I move, there I move, everywhere I move, move. Old McLomley won fun, dude, E-I-E-I-O. Holy mackinoli! It's Miss Pollock, your social worker. Is everything all right? Uh, hi, Miss Pollock. <laughs> What's going on in there? <gasps> this place is a pigsty. Never mind. Get your things, Punky. You're leaving with me. But, Miss Pollock... Punky friend in hot soup. Oh, oh, oh. oh, what a mess. Punky, Miss Bollock, what's going on? You will be hearing from the child welfare office, Mr. Warnemont. Punky is now in our care. But Miss Pollock, there must be some mistake. Yes. The mistake of letting you be responsible for this little girl. Don't worry, Punky. I'll get this straightened out. You'll see. I know you will, Henry. Come, Punky. I'm taking you to a new foster home. It's a wonderful place with lots of happy girls. You'll love it. Don't worry, Miss Pollock. I'm sure she's in good hands, Mrs. Thrash. Punky will love it here. Now, let's meet the other girls. First thing you need to do here is learn to make candy. Candy? That's right. And we're behind on our orders. So get busy. Come on, girls. Crash, not on high again. Quit sniveling and get my orders, mate. The creepy place. I think I'll knock this back to Henry. You mean a creepy place, and we can't do that. If we disappear, we'll get Henry into more trouble. to make money to take care of us. But she gets paid to take care of us. I'll bet she's just using us to make money for herself. You better get a move on. Mrs. Thrash videotapes and watches everything we do. No peeking about fine eyes. Now giving Punky helping hands. Ouch! The gang of 
will be here any minute. Oh, 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 you must have caught a cold when you fell into that bat of chocolate. Just hang in there, Gloma. Let's get that videotape down to the TV news station. Then everyone will know Mrs. Thrash is a fake. so long. This night air is chapping my skin. Hey, guys. Be down in a chip. Okay, Gloma, do your stuff. Wow! Oh, oh that must be a doom. Employees only, and that is final. I have to get this tape down to the newsroom. <laughs> How do we get past the guard? With disguises, of course. How about it, Laura? Can you zap up a nice disguise? Oh, that's no problem. Nice disguise zapping up. <laughs> It must be his cold, Punky. He had mice instead of mice. up with the kid. The storm is hampering the rescue efforts of this unidentified young girl. <laughs> Brandon, not now. Oh my gosh. Punky. Come on, Brandon. We'll get our Punky back. Hang on, little girl. We need a longer ladder. It should be here soon. Hang on, Mac. This is as far as you go. Everything's all right, Punky. Wow! You're a real that hero! That was great! That was a very brave thing to do. Of course. He's the best father there is. And now the whole world saw it, too. There you are, you nasty child. You must be from the foster home. Is this what you call taking care of my Punky? She's been making all the kids work. And here's the proof. <gasps> my tape! Get me that! Oh, no, you don't. This is one story you don't want to miss. I saw the whole thing, Mr. Warnemont, and any father who would risk his life is okay by me. You won't have to worry about losing Punky again. 
Isn't that great, Henry? But what about the other girls? You'll be happy to know I found wonderful new foster homes for all of them. I just hope they'll be as happy as I am. Bunky Brewster will return after these messages. All right, remember, stick to the game plan. Right. Point one, they will come to you. Point two, never look hungry. Oh, that's so big on chocolate. Yeah, chocolate after here. Let's not forget point three. What's that? No one points one and two aren't working. It's hard to keep them on the rest of so three. Three months Breakfast with my fruity pebbles. <laughs> Tricking Fred out of his pebbles is always an adventure. Uh-oh, the natives are restless. I'll save the pebbles. Big Rock Jones. Tastes fruity delicious. Funny. Time to get into the swing of things. Post fruity and cocoa pebble cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Yabba dabba delicious. We now return to Punky Brewster. Yay, come on, Punky! Hey, hey, come on, Henry! Come on, Henry and Punky! Time's running out, Punky. Hurry, hurry! Come on! Let's give it our best effort, Punky. money until you spend some money. Can you spend it? You have two days to spend one million dollars if you want to win the fourth million dollar grand prize. But if you don't spend every penny, you lose it all. Don't worry, Punky. For a million dollars, you can get a great little villa. Uh, sorry. The rules say you can only spend ten thousand dollars on any one thing. And to make sure you play by the rules, I'll be watching you. We're going to win that $40 million. Right, Henry? Henry? Jeepers, Henry. What are those red spots all over your face? They're just hives. I get them when I'm nervous. I'm afraid those aren't hives, Henry. You've got contagious chicken pox. Then you won't have time to spend the million dollars. <laughs> Wait a minute. We're not quitting. You tell him, Punky. I'm going with you. After all, you've already had chicken pox. <laughs> but I haven't. But well, what can we do? Use your friends. The strangers. I don't care. Just don't take him. We're this. They're not on sale? Wonderful. I just love doing a little shopping. <laughs> Did we forget anything? I doubt it. I just spent doodles of money. Me too. That'll be ninety thousand dollars and thirty-nine cents. Here's a hundred thousand. Keep the change. Oh, what these too? Boy, candy sure is getting expensive these days. I'm gonna go spend some more money. My, my, you have been busy. But the rules say you can't keep anything. This could make you lose the game. <laughs> oh, I'm already taking care of that. I, I got here as soon as I could. Good. Here's the stuff we promised for the orphan. Oh, drat. Hey, looking what I buy. Lottery ticket bringing a big cut. No, Wilmer. We don't want to get more money. We have to spend what we have. Oh, I get in picture now. Right. Why don't you give the ticket to Father Rooney? Just what I think. Come on, guys. Let's see what Alan does. Whoa! Whoa! Alan? Meet Tom. I bought him for $10,000. His name's Winner. What are we going to do with the horse? Well, he used to be a racehorse. A race 
horse. That's a great idea. I bet he'd lose us a bundle. Are you sure this is going to work? Sure. We've already paid a fortune for entrance and boarding fees, and Glover bet $10,000 on winner to win. That means all we have to do is lose. Huh? When you bet your money on the horse to win, and he loses, you lose your money. Glover ready. I'm making a great jerky. That's just Glover. But just make sure to lose. Oh, don't worry. This Glover wasn't born tomorrow, you know. to wash those cars. But we sort of got a problem. The equipment's busted. Okay, we'll help. Then we'll close down. <laughs> wash all these cars? You kids won't have time to spend a million. That's what we do, Glamour Glamour-fixing car wash splickety lift. Hey, the equipment's working. It doesn't matter. You kids are still going to lose. My suit, it's ruined. Here, buy yourself another one. I certainly will. We'll be back later, Ernie. Come on, we've got money to spend. The car wash is restoring that car. I don't believe it. I'm going to be rich. I don't believe this. Hey, believe it, kid. This place is a fountain of youth for old heaps, and I'm buying it back. Glomer? Glomer fixing car wash too, girl? Funky Brewster will return up these messages. Help! Time for a balanced breakfast with Cheerios. You got to go with Cheerios. And the Cheerios might help you grow. Do you believe in magic? You will with your next box of Cheerios. Free inside is a magic trick, like this disappearing coin trick. Seven tricks in all, one free in marked boxes of Cheerios. Now do you believe in magic? You bet I we now return to Punky Brewster. We've only got a few hours to spend this money. What's the most worthless thing we could buy a whole lot of? I know! Dead fish! How stupid! But that's it! No one's here! They will be soon! Glomer's placing our ad right now! We'll pay $10,000 very fish? No, no. Very fish you catch. Let's get ready and give away some money. The best things in it are for free. But you can give them to the first man.
According to my calculations, it appears as if Punky Brewster and her friends spent the entire one million dollars. Wait, they seem to be a little short. Don't worry, guys. It must be that dollar lottery ticket Glomer bought. He gave me the receipt. Whoa. Uh-oh. What's this? Uh, uh, 98 cents change I got for a candy bar. Aha! Uh -huh. You have money left over. So you lose. Don't worry, Punky. It's really not that bad. Now, who could that be? Why, you left the TV studio so fast, I didn't get to tell you the good news. The lottery ticket your little friend gave me was a big winner. The orphanage has won a hundred thousand dollars. Now the kids will have a home. That's need a room. It looks like we're all big winners after all. Because Punky gives me 40 million dollars worth of pleasure every day. Oh, Henry. Now there's a girl with spunk. Brian, you should ask her out on a date. Are you kidding? She's a cartoon. So far, you've only given me one reason why it won't work out. Well, I don't have a phone number. That's not hard to get. Alf, I think she just goes for guys that are a little more animated than I am. You know, you might have a point here. My super golden crisp cereal is the life of this nutritious breakfast. Can't believe there's eight vitamins hiding in that sweet crispy wheat. Well, well, Frankie the Finn and my old pal Sharky. What's up, fellas? Your time, sugar bear. We're cruising for a crunch. How about a vitamin packed punch? Let's get it. Last flight to the coast. Thanks for the lift, boys. I can't get enough super golden crisp. It's got the crunch with punch. Yeah. Twix puts the dig in your gig. It puts the boom into your beat. Puts the rhythm in your feet. Keeps you rocking along. Puts the soul into your song. You can keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Chocolate caramel satisfaction. Like crispy cookie gets you back in the action. There's nothing to sticks to Twix. Can't fix. You can keep on, keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Caramel or peanut butter Twix. Hi, this is Brian Scott, Kid Video. Set your time machines to the year 3010. You're about to whiz into the future. That's the year time traveler Jamie Jaron wins the Laser Tag Championship and the secret Starlight Power. The adventures begin on Laser Tag Academy. Next. and I'll be right back with one to grow on. Last time with Lucky Charms. Oh, no. Stuck up here with a whale on me rainbow and swirled whale marshmallows in me cereal. Come on, let's get them down. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Yikes! Oh, we made things worse. How long can it keep bouncing? And how long will there be swirled whale marshmallows in Lucky Charms? That's still up in the air. But you kids can help Lucky and the Whale get down on boxes of Lucky Charms. Part of this nutritious breakfast. I don't know. Come on, lighting matches can be fun. What's so hot about playing with matches? Every year, thousands of people are hurt or are left homeless by the careless use of fire. Fire is a tool. We cook with it. It keeps us warm. It gives us life. 
but it can be very dangerous. It is not a toy to be played with. Because if you use fire improperly, it can cause a lot of trouble. It can even cost you your life. You'll burn me off, Harry. What's the point of playing with fire when it could burn both of us? Or burn something that we don't want to burn, like my books here? Gee, I never really thought of that. Would you want to do something real fun? Yeah. Let's go see the creature that ate Ralph. Now there's a hot idea. Come on. And that's when to grow on. Now, at a planet near you, it's Blaster Tag, laser combat that's out of this world. See your own blaster beam, cut through the night, through the fog, and score a direct hit on the enemy. Test your skills individually or in teams and break new ground with Blaster Tag's unique gravity. Blast off to Blaster Tag, 439 Hialeah Drive in the Essex Shopping Center. For passport information, call 888-7723. That's 888-7723 for Blaster Tag, where fantasy becomes reality. Sandy Payton reports on Marriage Over 30, Monday, live at... Okay, Brian, I'm ready for the next show. This is something I can identify with. A girl from the year 3010. How old are you? Well, let me put it this way. I've got dandruff older than your planet. Wow. Yeah, hey, that's nothing. I've got a cousin who's got a beard older than my dandruff. Yeah, right. Quiet. Laser Tag Academy is coming on. Beam me up, Brian! A thousand years from now, a perfect world. Laser tag champion Jamie Jaron is the sole possessor of starlight power. Until the resurrection of a master criminal from the past, Draxton Greer. through time in his quest to conquer the future. He is pursued by Jamie Jaron. Jamie must team with her ancestors, Tom, Beth, and Nikki Jaron. Join us now in their adventure through time to preserve the past, save the future, and keep the peace established by the Laser Tag Academy. Laser Tag Academy will return off these messages. I want to get out with the sunshine, but it's a perfect time to play now. Just my friends who fight us to roll up. We're having fun on a Saturday. We love our fruit roll up. And we're crazy about fruit bars. Real fruit and fun. Yeah, they're the ones. We love the same things they do. We love our fruit roll Do you believe in magic? You will with your next box of Cheerios. Free inside is a magic trick, like this disappearing coin trick. Seven tricks in all, one free in marked boxes of Cheerios. Now do you believe in magic? You bet I do. We now return to Laser Tag Academy. Beth, how many more do you need? It's not the quantity, it's the quality. And I'll know when I get there. Do all the kids work this hard on their final history project? Hey, you kids, come have a look at my treasures. This could be it. Spare me, no more. Look around, because I'm offering treasures from my seafaring days for a pittance of their worth. You'd be helping a simple man save the only home he's ever known. Your boat? That's right. The Caribbean Queen, I call her. As sure and as steady as they come. But I'll lose her if I don't come up with the money. Ah, oh, you probably want something a little unusual. Wouldn't you know I have just the item? Stay put. Yeah. 
like what the buccaneers use. You know about pirating? I love everything about them. Well, this spyglass has been in my family forever. Really? Absolutely. Have you ever heard of the great pirate Redbeard? The scourge of the Caribbean? It was his. What a beauty. Why do you want to sell it? Like I told you, the money. I only have a few dollars. It's worth a lot more than that. It's more important for me that it goes to someone who really appreciate it. I wish there was some way we could help that guy. What do you want to do? Put on a rock concert for him? Hey, there's something stuck in here. It's treasure map from 1748. Why don't you give it back to the captain? I've got another idea. Come on, let's go home. somewhere in 1987. And Dreer can't go anywhere without a star sensor. Should we look for him? No. You kids need a vacation. Oh, right. We've got a vacation from Dreer. In a way. Just be careful. You never know when he may show up. Well, I know what I'll do. What? Visit this island in the Caribbean. I'm going to help that old sea captain. I love it. Sunbathing, windsurfing, scuba diving. Better bring your own equipment. They don't have rentals in 1748. 1748? Hey. Holy cow! We're in the middle of a hurricane! Ah, the one time I don't pack my own. That's what's interesting about time travel. There's always an element of surprise. Now let's get off this beach. Quick starlight. Oh no! Just like I showed you. And no foul-ups. Oh, hey, hey. oh, I <laughs> Now. I did it. The star sensor is fixed. <laughs> Enough! Did you morons find the Jarens? So Alonga actually thinks I'm out of the way. Well, of course, the little dears can't know I've fixed my star sensor. So we'll surprise them. Oh, ah, now 
Now this is the life. Broken palm trees, wrecked ships, flooded beaches. There's nothing like being stranded on a desert island. <laughs> you certainly look the part. So what are you talking about? This is the latest in casual storm wear. Bad news, guys. We're not the only ones the storm got to. I can't get it to work. All that water must have shorted the circuit. Great. And finding our other starlights is going to be like hunting for a pebble on the beach. Not with our star sensors. That's not broken, too, I hope. No, it's just filled with sand. Yeah, like the rest of us. Fifteen men on the dead man's chest. Yo, ho, ho, and a bottle of... Hey, uh, maybe we found some Boy Scouts. Not in 1748, Tom. Hey, guys. I uh, see you're building a fire. Anything for breakfast? I'm starved. We're here looking for this treasure and got caught in that storm. Treasure, you say now? Yeah. My sister found this pirate's treasure map. And we're helping this old... Tom, these are pirates. Oh. Well, uh, we really didn't mean to crash your party. And, uh, well, we'll just go on. Uh, let me go. Pick on somebody your own size. Or, or bigger. Get away from me, pal. Or I'm gonna give you a knuckle sandwich. Sneaky, aren't you? Well, you won't be getting away from me. How about we talk deal? We're not a favorin' to talking much. You see me, Arties? We don't take the trespassers. There's no way I can fit through. Hey, remind me to put you on a diet when we get home. There's something about Captain Redbeard. He looks like the sea captain on the pier. What's the matter? Bad plate up chow? I hope you find these quarters to your liking. The detention room at school is better than this. Here, de detention room? No matter. You'll be walking the plank soon enough. Oh, that's a shame. We were hoping you'd help us find our treasure. Ah, then you must be having a map. You don't think we came all the way down here without one, do you? <laughs> Maybe if you give me the map, I could persuade me crew, and they're an angry lot they be, not to use you for shark bait. Well, I couldn't do that. Not unless we were back on the island. Yeah, you're a feisty one there, standing up old red beard like that, and I'm starting to like you too. But you see, lass, I'm here for one thing, that being treasure. And if I don't get it, you walk the plank. Then I guess we both lose. <laughs> Move it, you land lovers. Okay, you guys think you're so tough? Come on. It looks like we're going swimming, guys. <laughs> Hold your breath. This is wonderful. Those pirates are taking care of those Jaren brats for me. <laughs> Laser Tag Academy will return after these messages. Twix puts the dig in your gig. It puts the boom into your beat. Puts the rhythm in your feet. Keeps you rocking along. Puts the soul into your phone. You can keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Chocolate caramel satisfaction. Like Christmas cookie, get you back in the action. There's nothing to sticks to Twix, can't fix. You can keep on, keep on, keep on moving with Twix. Caramel or peanut butter Twix. There's something strange in the neighborhood. So who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! Each sold separately. Have no fear. Maggie, Steph, and Spangler are here. So are these ghosts. They got exoplasm. We've been good. Now what? They puff marshmallow man. Let's show this pile of dessert who's boss. Activate neutrona blaster. We ain't afraid of them. 
Ghost. Beer Banquet, Ectoplasm, Stay Puff, Marshmallow Man, and other figures each sold separately. Ghostbusters, new from Kenner. We now return to Laser Tag Academy. Fellas, don't you think you've carried this joke far enough? When you're at the bottom of the sea, be sure to say hello to Davy Jones for me. <laughs> It's a miracle! I knew he'd come through! Shush! Now, the Arties, I'll be expecting the treasure map for saving your hides! Don't worry! You better put more muscle in the oar before the rest of the Pittsburgh Pirates find out you threw the game. Jamie Jaron isn't getting away from me this time. Hey! Oh! Fifteen men on a dead man's chest! Yo ho ho! Your party had better wait. <laughs> Demons from the deep! Nay, it must be a trick. They're after our treasure. Get them, lads! Now listen to me. I'm your new captain. We already have one. A double-crossing one? What are you talking about, Mite? Redbeard saved those three kids and took them to the island. The treasure! They're after the treasure! No doubt. But you help me get those kids, and the treasure's all yours. I'll even help you. The storm changed the way this whole island looks. That's Redbeard's problem. Look, give him the map. We need to find our starlights. No, some of that treasure belongs to the sea captain. Beth, the priority here is our starlight. Fine, you two find them. My priority is finding the treasure. I'm going with him. Sometimes I just don't understand you, Beth. And now, Beth, we're to go in for this here treasure hunting, and you and me must... Oops. 98, 99, 100. <laughs> I think that was too, too Timmy. Like you, lass, he was after me treasure. The treasure is supposed to be right under the big W. Redbeard, were you always a pirate? Hatched from a fish egg at the bottom of Davy Jones' locker, I was. No, really. I mean, don't you have a home, a family? <laughs> I be telling you true. If there was a lass like you waiting for me, I'd fly the Jolly Roger no more. You mean that? Aye! Did you hear that, lass? It's music to me ears! The treasure? Is it the treasure? Well, you look at here. Wow! I can't believe it! You'll not be doing that, lass. I only wanted to see our treasure. Ours now, will ya? I saved your life, and the treasure is mine. All of it. Part of that belongs to the sea captain. The only sea captain to be a-spending this lot is yours, truly. I can't believe you're doing this. I really can't. If you want to catch up to your friends, head do south. Laser Tag Academy will return off these messages. Well, everywhere I go, it's sex in the nose.
makes me feel so hungry for my tic tac toes. They're so tasty. Chef Boy RV. Tic 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 tac toes. New tic tac toes, a good hot meal. And when you get three X's or O's on your spoon, you win. Thank goodness for Chef Boy RV. Tic 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 tac toes. With and without meatballs. Yeah. Lots of pound puppies need your love. Ask for me, Petey. And when they're this lonely and this lovable, one more is always welcome. Come share in all our cousin Karen puppy love. Pound puppies. Each sold separately. From Tonka. <laughs> I like new Giggles cookies because we've got two kinds of cream inside. He likes Giggles funny faces. There's fudge and vanilla cream in each one. <laughs> I can't believe how good this is. New Giggles cookies. Two kinds of cream in each funny face. Are you going to eat that? <laughs> we now return to Laser Tag Academy. <laughs> well, me lass, we're cooking in a stew. Good. That takes care of one, Jaren. Two more, then it's over. And how did they find the starlight? Yeah, look, face. I've got the treasure. For us, I have. I knew there was no other way. I had to get them into me confidence so I could get the map. It was a risky plan, but for me, crew, I did it anyway. Don't be idiots. Your loyal captain double-crossed you. <laughs> you see, he kept the best for himself. Yeah, no, no. Don't be hasty. The treasure's ours now. Those are just trinkets. This is the most precious gem on the island. This gem belongs to the first one of you who brings me the next Sharon. I'll be having me the gemstone for me own. But first, me mates, we take care of Redbeard our way. I don't care what you do to him. I want the girl. Then it's settled. Mike ready a keel hauling. It'll take some fast talking, but I'll be figuring a way out of this for us. Huh? Don't you mean you? Ah, oh, lass. I never meant for you to be caught up in me troubles. You have a funny way of showing it. Don't you understand? I'm a pirate, and I do what pirates do. Yeah, but as sure as there's fish in the sea, if there's a way out of this for you, old Redbeard will make it happen. You never stop, do you? And that's what I like about you. <laughs> This be the only thing I have ever stolen. My daddy gave it to me when I was a pup your age. And I want to give it to you for as little time as we have here together. Why is it taking so long? What's it got, all the sand on the island in there? <laughs> Almost. Long, green, and has a very big mouth? An alligator. Well, uh, if you've got any ideas at all, don't be afraid to speak up. Get him mad at us. What's this? Some bizarre academy rule on animal behavior? No. Don't you ever go to the zoo. Go on, get him mad. I think you'd be better at this than me. I'm doing the best I can. Come on, let's get back. <laughs> Are you ready? 
ready for your swim, Captain Redbeard. You leave him alone. Worry about yourself, Sharon. I just be giving him appetizers before the main meal. gonna get her. Easy. <laughs> Holy Toledo. We're back in 1987, but with the whole pirate ship. Jamie, Beth's star sensor is on the mast. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Ah! My mates! Witchcraft! If you want your treasure, grab those kids. I'll get Beth. You take care of Drear. these days. <laughs> they really blow me away. I can't wait to find out where Dreer lands. Why, these are pieces of eight. Pure gold. They're worth a small fortune. At least enough to save your home. Where did you get them? An old friend. This is pirate's gold. Yeah. And where do you think that old pirate is? I don't know, but I'm sure he can take care of himself. I got me magic here, mates. If I want to, I can turn you all into barnacles. You know I can do that. Aye, aye, Captain Redbeard. <laughs> and as for this here old map, I'll be saving it for me great-great-grandchildren. And I'm a hoping some of them are like that last Beth. <laughs> well, you know, Alf, sometimes I wonder what it'd be like living in another time or place, like you or Jamie Jared. It's nice. But the weather is unpredictable. You mean you don't know when it's going to change? No, you never know if there's going to be weather. Ha! Yeah! I don't get it. It's a joke. These are the jokes. Oh. <laughs> we'll be right back with Kid Video. They don't hang around in ladies' clubs or in a three-piece. 